Hello, chat. How you doing? Let me get these headphones on real quick. There we go. Right. I think we'll be finishing this game up tonight. And I'm feeling positive. Positive energy. I've charged all my crystals. Used that solar eclipse yesterday. Stuck them out in the lack of the sun. It worked perfectly. But never felt stronger before. Uh, but how are you doing? I'm assuming none of you also had the genius idea of charging your crystals yesterday. But it just shows the difference between you and me. Uh, BJ Blaskowicz, uh, in the last stream, you mentioned something called Classic Sins. I haven't heard of that. What is it? Well, I'm glad you asked, BJ Blaskowitz. Let me tell you all about Classic Sins. It's, a, it's an up-and-coming project of mine that will be part of my up-and-coming Patreon. Essentially, any game that released before my cutoff date of 20 years, uh, meaning old as shit, covered in dust, possibly mummified, I will be, make a video on. And it'll go up on the Patreon. So that, that's the idea behind Classic Sins. I'm also going to be doing DLC Sins. You thought it was something? No, you have not missed it yet. I do have the first episode of it ready. It's covering the original Silent Hill on PlayStation 1. That is going to be the first Classic Sins episode. And yeah, it's going to be on my Patreon I launch this month. And good news, it's going to be super cheap. It's just three bucks. <laughs> three bucks uh, for the Patreon gets you all the content. So, hopefully, uh, it's not too pricey for anyone. But you'll get that, plus DLC sins, plus a bunch of other stuff for your subscription. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not asking for a fan text, so I'm keeping it dirt cheap. <clears throat> Sounds like a good deal. You know what? I'm going to, like, hire you to be my hype man for, like, future sales. You're perfect at this. You're like, what is this thing you speak of? And like, well, let me tell you all about it, Sony Jim. And you're like, wow, that sounds like a great bargain. Can I get two? Sure, get a classic sins for your classic sins. What a Twitch stream, I know, right? Uh, have you seen the FF9 Memoria Project fan demo running on U Unreal Engine 5? The vid is 10 months old. I believe I did, yeah. I think they used, uh, uh, they like showed off like 3D backgrounds or something, didn't they? But, you know, I wouldn't really put too much faith in that ever being a real thing beyond that demo. Your J.O. crystal? No, I charge my crystals only with the power of the sun. Jerking off just doesn't have enough energy in it. Not as much as you think, anyways. No, it needs the power of a stellar body. And jerking off. You gotta jerk off in the sunlight, surrounded by your crystals. That's how you charge them. Three bucks? You trying to make me go into debt or something? <laughs> it's outrageous highway robbery. Three bucks for two extra videos a month, plus even more content? Oh, no, I never. My day, that would have cost a whole shiny quarter. I'm going to give you a free sin for the possible video. Why don't Chris and Jill shoulder their shotguns, except Chris does during his boss battles? You know, I'll have to pay attention to that when I watch the footage because I haven't noticed that myself. Do they like, do they like not put it up against their shoulder? They just like keep it underslung? Because that is bad gun for him, if so. You have some bad news for you. You might not beat this tonight. The cave is kind of long. Eh, we'll see. If, if I have to, I'll go a little bit over. Didn't even, we didn't even last five minutes into the stream. Something wrong. <laughs> Thought my stream died or something. Is my stream alive? Seems like it is. See, I see a comment like that and I panic. They fired at the hip. Okay, yeah, that is like extremely bad shotgun form. Yeah, that's, that's you break your freaking fingers. And also not hit anything. All dead. Uh, I learned a new word yesterday called gooning. I'm glad I could teach people this. <laughs> and the meaning of gooning. It's not like we needed a new word for that act, but we, we, you know what? We're never satisfied with our language. Uh, we always have to like, no, we need a new word for a new generation. Three bucks in this economy? Okay, yeah, you're making me feel bad. I thought I priced it pretty well. I mean, for that kind of, for, from what I saw of other Patreons, they would normally charge 10 to $15 for that, that kind of tier. It's like, you want the premium shit? You want the new exclusive video content? Pay up. $15. Fucking pay pigs. 
And I'm like, oh, that, that seems like a lot. That That's what's kept me from ever, like, signing on to a lot of other content creators' Patreons. They charge too much for stuff. And it's also one of the reasons I was always, like, resistant of ever doing my own Patreon. Because, like, wait, is that, is that how much you got to charge to make it worthwhile? <laughs> then the more I thought about it, I was like, no, no, you don't. You can be fair. <laughs> and even. Are there feet in the Patreon? I may take a few pics of my feet with my cat sitting on them, but only, but there will be pictures of my cat that also include my feet. <laughs> How the French have to come up with a new word through their council for gooning, legoon. So you gotta do legoon. What is your stock portfolio like now? What is my stock portfolio? I'll have you know, I don't own any stock. I only own some cryptocurrency. <laughs> Sometimes, Shad, I don't feel like an adult. I really don't. It, it's like when someone asks you, like, what, oh, what stocks do you own? I, like, get embarrassed that I can only mention that I own a Bitcoin. <laughs> it's like, I, I, own, I own Bitcoin. And then there's the, the looks of disdain. <laughs> like, well, you, oh, you don't own any, you don't own any of the S&P 500? No Microsoft? No NVIDIA? Like, no, no, I, I, own, I, own, I own a Bitcoin. I mean, it's a whole Bitcoin. Does this Patreon also include cut content from my videos? It will be including a, an early version of Game Sin episodes that will include, and it'll be an uncensored version of it. So it'll have like me swearing in it. It might have a few extra jokes that I would normally not put up on YouTube since they might be a bit too spicy or politically incorrect. Uh, and also if it has any imagery, like say nudity, I don't have to cut that out or censor it like I would have to on YouTube. So when it comes to like that, that's what you'll get with it. On occasion, I might also release special videos called Dardigan Bonus. That'll have like sins that weren't really good enough to make it into the video or got cut for some other reason. Amongst other things. Kitty, I don't need to fight you off right now, do I? You can also, you also have the lap part, the lap part. Time to ditch videos on games and become a finance guru. I mean, I can't, I haven't done bad for myself. I mean, my, my, my Bitcoin has done very well since I bought it, but not something I'd ever recommend anyone else. Slightly warmed to the idea of another Resident Evil remake, if only so we get the canon ending of Chris, Jill, Rebecca, and Barry all escaping so far. Rebecca and Barry have never met ever. Uh, well, Barry's only ever been in one other game besides this one, technically, and that's that Revelations 2. They kind of like forgot about him for a while. Uh, you should include some funny outtakes during your... I don't really have funny outtakes when I'm recording lines. Usually what happens is I'll flub a line and I'll immediately just restart the line. So you don't really get like those like things you would see in like an anime dub. Or like, oh, they, they, they all the goofy outtakes. Because it's just me like, oh, shit, fuck. I mean, we do <clears throat> cough sounds, me halting my sentence delivery and then like starting over. So that wouldn't really make for good content. Also, the GMC. Oh, the GM, the GMC. Gifted five memberships to YouTube. Thank you, GMC. Big ups. I mean, you're already like the, the king of gift subs on Twitch. Are you like <laughs> gunning for it on YouTube now? Like, yeah, that's right. Spread the legacy. One Bitcoin is quite the nest egg, but you should probably put some of that value into a more stable form. Uh, Well, the thing is, it... Uh, I bought my Bitcoin when it was only $4,000 to buy a single Bitcoin. Uh, so it's always been in the green for me. So I'm, I'm, it's one of those things I didn't put more money into it than I was willing to lose. So I'm, it's basically just like, it's fun for me to like have it and see how much it goes up. And if it keeps going up, who knows? So it's not a big, uh, big risk for me to like, just hold on to it. I don't really need money. I'm debt free. I have zero debt. So I have nothing really to worry about financially right now. No, no, Dard, you own a form of cryptocurrency. You are now obligated to add that to your bio on your socials. Absolutely not. <laughs> I will never, I, one, I don't even use Twitter that I have one, but I never use it as anyone who's ever checked it out will tell you. Uh, and I, I don't really have, I don't, I don't even know, do I even have my YouTube handle in my, or my YouTube uh, URL in my X, my X link? I don't know. Uh, but I will never put crypto influencer on my socials, as they say. Never happening. You do that chat, you are branded. There are certain people who will never even communicate with you. Like a scarlet letter. 
One whole chocolate Bitcoin wrapped in shiny gold. <laughs> One Bitcoin, please, sir. Oh, and speaking of money, someone just, you know, Lord X Rush just get the 20 subs. You guys just unlocked a new emote, I'm pretty sure. It won't be long before all... I'm going to have to, like, develop new emotes because I'm, I'm quickly running through all the ones I already have made for Twitch. At this rate. <laughs> I'm going to, like, get in contact with my emote artist again. Please, sir, can I have some more Bitcoin? Please, sir. I mean, I also own some Ethereum, too. If, if I'm going to be bragging tonight. So yeah, I'm a bit of a crypto influencer. I, I, I own several, several high value coins. Uh, but um, <clears throat> be sure to give Lord X, uh, you know, a nice big fat thank you if you got a gift sub from him. Also, GMC, thank you for your own gift sub. Well, not your own gift sub, your own membership. Big thanks. Uh, I'm still go I'm still watching the stream. It's gonna take more turn. You feeling still feeling bad, Puff? I hope you feel better soon. If so, stomach, yeah, your stomach, yeah, your stomach, yeah. The tummy hurt. The tummy white. I think that's how you're supposed to pronounce it, right? Tummy white. Dragon professional, professional. No, you gotta have all of my my bio stats. Professional crypto influencer. Uh, social media influencer. Professional gamer. Professional debater, uh, pro commentator, uh, 6.1 inches in height and 6.1, 6.1 inches in height. That's a short person right there. 6.1 in height and then 6.1 in somewhere else. Yeah, I'm only 6.1 inches, Chad, in height. I am teeny tiny. Sex guru, sex guru. Trader of the master, the... <laughs> Of you know, uh, I'm trying to think of like a position name, like the, the creator of the master butterfly position. There we go. That sounds fancy. Did you hear that guy created the master butterfly position? Holy shit! Cult leader, yeah. So I do have a a cult leader. You know, apparently stance. You're a debater, a mass debater. Uh, yes, a mass. I debate multiple people at once. You know that kid who like beat a bunch of people at chess at the same time. The same way for me. Debated six people at once. Like run from table to table. And I own a bidet. And I own a bidet. Like I, I've mentioned before, like just speaking to someone who still wipes dry. It's like trying to like discern like a beaver talking to you. It's like chirping and chittering and it wants to eat some wood. And I'm just like, oh God, I'm grossed out. All I can think about is this person is unwashed. Master butterfly position. Is that a kung fu move or a sex position? You got it right on the second guess. <laughs> Same length as his body. That's what we call proportional. The golden ratio. He's a goddamn gnome. <laughs> Look, if I were 6'1", I, I would find a way to monetize that. In like, in 6'1 inches. Like, you know what? World's tiniest streamer. Even beating out the likes of Destiny. <laughs> uh, How many raw sticks of butter can you gobble in one sitting? Uh, you know what? I've never attempted that. I've always been more manageable with my butter with a few slices if it, if it, if it calls for it. Never just thought to myself, hmm, mm, whole stick of butter? Why not? Let me chew on it like it's a snicker bar. Don't pr forget professional alpha male. I know this is all jokes, but I really don't understand how anyone could go on social media and put alpha male in their bio. Unironically. I mean, I feel like, they, chat, are these people human? <laughs> Sometimes I have to wonder, are you like, are you really human? If you, do you not realize that is like, just so, so stupid. Considering darting and swole eating butter would destroy him. Well, actually, well, I'm not really what anyone would call swole. Uh, but uh, a lot of people who do like bulk up to get like big, all muscular, they have to have a lot of calories. So they will do crazy things like just eating nothing but like what sounds like a disgusting like like uh, chat. Some of those people will like take whole chickens and like blend it up into like a meat slurry, and that's just so they can have like a ton of chicken all at once. So like them eating a stick of butter probably ain't that far off. You want to tell me that Andrew Tate and the Liver King aren't alpha males? I'm pretty sure once you well when in the Liver Kings like you'll. 
Well, that dude, from what I know of him, he's like, spends $12,000 a month on pharmaceuticals just to like, be big. Uh, and also, no, they're both fucking jokes. One of them is like a sexual predator and groomer and like, you know, trafficker and like mafia dude. Uh, but I will admit that Andrew Tate is apparently a very skilled martial artist. He does have that going for him. Uh, but that doesn't necessarily make you like some alpha male either. Just one, this whole alpha male stuff is the the, the alpha beta male. Yes, doesn't, it doesn't exist. I, I think I've explained this before, but this whole idea of like alpha maleness, it's what we commonly call confidence. It, that's all it is. If you're familiar with something, you're confident in doing it, and then, oh, yeah. but as soon as you, like, t anyone who calls himself, like, a big, strong alpha male, I want to take them and put them in, like, a, like, a, a, like, a, lock them in an office with, like, a dozen of the nerdiest, pastiest virgin programmers I can find, and then give them the command, look, you got three days to create this application for me, and if you don't, you're all dead. I guarantee you that like big, tough, manly alpha male guy uh, will be going and getting the coffee for those programmers and then like begging them to save his life <laughs> because he's out of his element, not competent in like programming an app, uh, no longer alpha by any, by any metric. <laughs> That's all that shit is. It's like, oh, you're, are you, are you good at working out and then or being big and strong? Okay. You're, you're competent. That's all it is. So this, 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 never be convinced by this alpha beta bullshit. That's all it boils down to. Like me, I'm confident in being an internet clown. I am an alpha clown, chat. Alpha clown. Say it with me, alpha clown. That's a term you never thought you'd probably hear, right? Yeah, the alpha clown. Uh, but that's just because I'm confident in that because I've been doing it for years. But, you know, take me out of that element and put me in front of, like, uh something else you know what i'm gonna be like just like a little sissy like beta bitch like no longer uh, 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 you want me to give a presentation on like you know, the you know, the sales metrics of product x versus product y uh, uh shoot me <laughs> just shoot me alpha clown maybe that's our new emote well i've already got a clown emote so i don't have that technically fuck being uh Alpha male, you want to be a foxtrot mate. Foxtrot male? I think that's a foxtrot male, huh? Can you be alpha and like pegging? I'm pretty sure a lot of people who call themselves alpha are probably into pegging, yes. How else are they supposed to de-stress? Alpha clown sounds like something you ask your doctor if it's right. Ask your doctor if alpha clown is right for you. I mean, you do want a doctor's recommendation for that, right? Is Gordon Freeman the Lamba male? Yes. <laughs> Whatever that means. Chad, we need like a male type for every letter in the, you know, the Latin, <laughs> Latin pronunciation. Uh, let's face it, BJ Blaskowitz, you're from Wolfenstein and you're biased. Yeah, well, the thing, the thing about BJ is that he was like, he's just a good guy. He was just big. Hmm. Alpha beta thing was discredited. Yeah, it's basically like wolf mom and dad. <clears throat> it doesn't really apply. It's never really applied to humans, even if it was real, because humans are a different variety of social animal. And we're a little bit too complex to like, you know, to be defined by it. I don't know why we're talking about this. Why are we doing like sociology tonight? <laughs> we're supposed to be making fun of like, you know, biological terrorism and the goofiest kind of it. On Skibbity Dardigan's mewing streaks of Riz. I I detest that I know what every single word you just said means and know how to use them. I, I hate that. I hate what modern society has done to me. And that is like a very cursed sentence you just formed, by the way. You brought it up, yeah, and then that, like, we derailed the entire stream to talk about the alpha beta -ness. Dard, the fact that you're casually reading the comments isn't helping. Well, that's what I do every stream. I am like, you know, to add another, like, you know, statistic or like, you know, clarify, you know, clarify my future extremely lengthy social media bio, uh, casual comment, pro stream comment reader would definitely be on that. And also I'm doing all this while fighting, fighting off a cat with my foot. 
Would you be down for a Capcom made Silent Hill? I don't know. I feel like at this point, Silent Hill is a, is a franchise that is cursed. I don't know if anyone can make a good Silent Hill game anymore. Complete global saturation. Ooh, woo, whiskers, riz, yacht, wesker. Now you forgot to put in like, ooh, woo, nuzzles. Ooh, woo. Ooh, woo, nuzzles your chin, ooh, woo. What about a sociopath? What about him? <laughs> Derailing implies that the stream had tracks to begin with. You know what? That is a very profound today, but that's something my streams almost never have. Don't have much faith in 2 Remake. I don't think anyone does, but you know what? I'm still going to play it. Silent Hill PT demo forever made Silent Hill games impossible. Uh... Thing is, the, P the PT demo wasn't an actual game. That was just like they threw something together real quick, and it just kind of hit it, struck a struck a very desperate fan base at a time when they hadn't got anything for years. It's like, oh, this is pretty good. I mean, it was good because it didn't really have anything to it. It's very simple, uh, and that wasn't what the actual game was even going to be. They didn't. Ha they haven't even figured out what that game was going to be at that point. I don't believe. It's like very little to no work had been done on it. But that one demo still influenced an entire generation of like horror games where you like explore a house. Ooh, suburban house. Creepy. And I find most of those games really freaking boring. You think Konami might finally say their brands if both remakes fail? I, I, I don't know. You know what? Konami is not staffed by humans, and you shouldn't think of them trying to, like, come up with human answers to solutions. They will always go in, like, the weirdest direction you can think of, and it will never work. PT was the bare minimum, but it was better than nothing. You know, that's better than nothing is how I describe it. You don't want Kojimbo near Silent Hill? Uh, who knows? He actually does, when he does want to do horror, he does it pretty decently. What does the title of the stream mean, uh, Gooning? Well, one, it's a it's partially a reference to Wesker's line in Resident Evil 5. And Gooning is the current Gen Z term uh, for excessive masturbation. <laughs> there you go. Complete global excessive masturbation. Scientific meaning. It's become a very popular term as of recently. Hmm. Okay, the, the soda's hitting the spot. I had too much salt earlier today. Need I needed a bit of like fluid. Sadly, a curse with a mad knowledge of understanding modern slang. You can't be a streamer without learning a lot of modern slang, alright? It just doesn't work. But Gooning was working out for a supervillain. I mean, I like that you're you're that innocent, honestly. Thank you for, like, refreshing me that there are still normal people out there. Uh, that actually warms my heart. So, big thanks. So, uh, one more thing. Almost forgot to send out my Discord announcement. Actually forgot to do that last night. So, we're gonna get playing the game now, because, you know what? Daddy Dart's got a game to finish tonight, hopefully. Because I'm going to be extremely busy with video editing for the next several days. Chat, I believe the FF7 video is my longest script ever, by the way. It's like 450 sins right now. <laughs> oh god, I'd rather... Oh, that's, that's like three videos in one. <laughs> I'm going to be recording lines all day tomorrow. All damn day. And then on this several days straight of editing. Longer than 16, uh, or longer than 13. I think that's probably around the same length, then, or maybe. I, I don't remember what the final tally was for 13. You think Junji Ito will ever come out with a horror game of his own? I wouldn't, I would hope so. I mean, he's got a very unique style. I want it to look like one of his mangas, though. Sort of like that current anime of Uzumaki is going to look like one of his, uh, the Uzumaki manga. So only if they do that art style. Did you like Rebirth? I did. I have issues with it, uh, but I still enjoyed it. K 
Can't believe you just posted that someone shoot me. Look, I make jokes about that all the time. It ain't that bad. All right, if you remember last night, chat, uh, we died after we killed the snake and went to another room. So the snake is alive again. So I'm going to have to kill it. However, I want to go... Before I go face the snake again, I want to like go into that tunnel where all the enemies killed me last night and get that over with. And then I'll go face the snake. Makes more sense to do it that way because I need the ammo to get... Because honestly, the snake isn't that tough. Still haven't fought, no, I did fight Yawn a second time last night and killed it, but then I died headed to another area. Uh, so I, you know, I didn't save after I killed Yawn because I only have limited... I only have like three or four ink ribbons left, so I gotta be careful using them too much. Ada Wong gooning, you wish. You wish she were gooning. All right, uh, let's see. But yeah, still need to figure out the jewelry box. But until then... I'm actually pretty good. I'll take a, this down there with me because I, I know there's spiders down there where I'm going. Hey darts, greetings from Germany. Ah, oh, how you doing over there? Uh, but welcome, my man. How's your day been? Well, it's probably very late for you, actually. It's probably like past midnight. Uh, but yeah, got a lot of German viewers on the channel, so always good to see you guys represented. Hopefully, uh, you're into live streams. <laughs> yeah, I need to, okay, we're okay, we're on the wrong way. I'm gooning while I'm writing this. Please don't let me know your activities. <laughs> I just want to like pretend you're all innocent, like people watching a stream and like laughing heartily, not gooning. You ruined my image of you. But could you imagine a live stream where you have like a, fee a live camera feed of everyone watching? Oh God. Oh, that's a nightmare scenario. 2.30 here? Yeah, like my, the guy who makes my RuneStorm, who makes the intros for my videos, is also German, so uh, I, I'm well versed in like, because often he's like working late on that shit. Like, is it at like 3 a.m. in the morning for you? He's like, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so. At least this, this puzzle is still solved. Is that how it's going to be? Goon gang on a goon's day. Goon's day. Welcome to goon's day. Zoom meeting time. Yeah, I've actually only been in like a Zoom meeting once or twice. Uh, But I know that during like, you know, the, you know, the pandemic hacking those and like, you know, Flashbanging everyone was a popular you know, way of entertaining yourself. Spreading chaos. How's the script writing going? It's finished. I Tomorrow I record my lines. And it is very long. It's very long. <laughs> I read this yesterday. This guy died not knowing he could press the switch on his own tombstone. Your intros are awesome. How they match the game's text. That guy does amazing work. Well, he does, yeah. And he's uh, and he's like been doing it for years now. But he does a great job. I mean, it really depends on what the game gives us to work with. But if, it, if the game gives us some good stuff, then yeah, he puts out some gold. Dartagoon, Dartagoon. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have called this stream Gooning. You guys are too clever for it. What's up, Lucky? How you doing tonight? Alright. Freaking spiders. I actually don't want to, like, waste my ammo on these guys. I'm just gonna run past them all. Can you move? Hey, yo. Yo. Can you move? There you go. 
Oh shit. That's a scary corridor over there. Back up. I didn't want to use this on you. If anyone's got arachnophobia, this is not a good camera angle, is it? This is like, this is my nightmare, Dardigan. <laughs> I know, Choi. I didn't want to kill him, but they forced my hand, alright? I think you forgot there were spiders. I threw my phone. It's currently in orbit. No one blames you. If I, if I were to ever stumble across something similar to that in real life, uh, you know what? I don't think I'd be sane afterwards. <laughs> what I'm still confused by is why are the spiders in Resident Evil 1 and 2 tarantulas? I don't think any tarantulas exist. Well, they were like science experiments in the mansion. They like infected them with T-virus and it made them big. With a Twitch and now YouTube chat, we can go from having profound philosophical discussions to talking about anime titties in the span of two minutes. None of us are that and I said, look, that is what my streams have been for like ever though. You now there's like someone right off screen off screen. I know how this works. If I like try to like move forward and change screen directions, I'll get bit. Yeah, I told you! I told you! A control game. You've heard me say it. There's like, yeah, it's, I know how this game works. Oh, fuck. Get off. Oh, that killed him? <laughs> then I didn't think that actually killed him. All right, we will heal. Do you remember when they first came out with these fake pics of giant spiders? I was like, holy shit, is that real? Uh, those fixed cameras cost money. Yeah, but th there's enemies just will like stand on one side where you can't see them off camera. It feels like just because they know you have to move forward and they'll like sneak you and grab you. You just won't have time to react. <laughs> Uh, not yet. I might need that space. Giant spiders existed. I'm ending my life. Just don't go where the giant spiders exist and keep your life. Oh yeah, this gets the elevator working. Yeah, I can't actually use either of these plants without a green one, so we're going to leave them there. Wait, I saw something there on the ground. Just go to Australia. That's where you find the dinner size, the dinner plate size spiders at. And they can actually mess you up. The fact that the virus can make things grow, grow that big means that they can infect animals and grow. It's weird. The T virus can infect, does different things to whatever it infects. Like it made a plant become intelligent and aggressive and made it big it makes like snake big too it makes spider big but dogs and humans zombifies them doesn't make a bit of sense why well, can't yeah here's a villain you need an enemy you need in i believe a Resident Evil game. Uh, you, we've had like, you m remember the Gigantos from uh, Resident Evil 4? Get a, like a Giganto sized dog. K. 
Okay, okay, I'm gonna lead you guys around. <laughs> Come on. Follow me this way. Boot up the banger music. I, I, I'm good. I don't need music every night. Does different things, different the same species. That's the thing with the virus. It can't actually like immediately affect a different species like that. Viruses have to like evolve to like infect a specific type of cell in a specific type of animal. Uh oh. Does that mean a little person would get a size boost? You hope so, don't you? Like, hey, Zach, can I get like a few inches from that? And I really need one of these, but I got no inventory space. Uh, let's see. In there is where you fight the snake at, so I can't really go in there just yet. Moth. G <laughs> There's a five six guy myself, I would probably take my chance. It's like anything for the height. I don't care if it zombifies me. I'll be a tall zombie at the very least. Chad, you know what? I believe in like the yo, you know what? Doesn't matter your height. This whole six one thing ain't everything it's wrapped up to be. Horror games don't scare me. Well, there's a difference between being scared and then like having your expectations met and being frustrated by. It. just the shotgun ammo room. Also, I need that battery. Uh, okay, we need to make a trip back to a save room. <clears throat> and then we need to come over and get the battery, then go back, then come back and kill the snake. Let's see. But this way... Oh shit, I just realized what's in this hallway. Uh, okay, I need to like... Oh, he's dead. Yeah, I don't want to die. Alright, so let's see. Yeah, yeah, can we over this way? Over this way. You're nine two? That, that that that's not a healthy height. Not a healthy height. People usually don't live that long at that height. You want to spin off a Resident Evil game where you play as a normal civilian during one of the outbreaks? Uh, yeah, they do. It's called, uh, it was like a multiplayer game for PS2. It was Outbreak. It, I don't think it was particularly successful, but they got a sequel. Sort of. I need HP. 
Who been moving these up? Just rearranging the old inventory chat. Okay, we're gonna need blue herb. Take the one of those with us because we're gonna find a snake. <clears throat> And I also need to heal up before I fight the snake. So I'll use the mixed herbs here. Yeah. I think I'm good now. I'm gonna like finish up, gotta go get some inventory stuff and bring it back down here. Uh, you should see my room, a bed full of plushies. Hey, whatever you're comfy with. Whatever makes you come. Oh, wait, there's a room here. Here, I gotta check. Quickly, Sir Dardigan, on the scale of Albert Wesker to Mother Miranda, how much fun are you having right now? I'm having quite a bit of fun uh, because I'm live streaming. You know what? Turns out live streaming is pretty good for me. And, uh, you know, it also happens I'm playing a pretty good game. So what, what do I sound like I'm not having enjoying myself? I bet he's like really unhappy right now. You know, there are some people who are like convinced that like every social like media person is like just actually miserable. Like, I bet he fucking hates life. You can just hear it in his voice. He wants to die. It's usually not a good sign of the person, you know, putting forth the theory. Am I sure I'm live streaming? You know, I'm not sure if I'm the only one here and you guys are just voices in my head at any given point in time. Can't actually prove it. Have you ever played the Star Wars The Force Awakens? Uh... The Force... There's a game called The Force Awakens. Isn't that the movie? Oh, wait. Is this, is this the one that came out where you play as, like, the Star Killer guy? Okay, no. I never played that. Uh, I think I own it because I got it during a Steam sale, but I never actually played it. Little fuck, your cat just bit the ham on my sandwich. Well, that's its. No, that is its sandwich. No. You just don't understand how this works. His sand or his sandwich. All right, we're done with this room. What kind of security is it? I want like a security camera that's like an eagle. <laughs> and like you know, activates a motion thing that keeps the eyes of my, you know, hunted animals from falling out. All right, next we'll go grab the battery and bring that down. Near Lisa's house? Yeah, after I kill the snake, Lisa's house is next on the list. I should be able to get the Magnum soon as well, right? I feel like I'm going to be doing that soon. 
Like, I've got two of the crests already. Or the medals, I mean. Or, wait, crest or medal? They're different things, aren't they? Uh, I think I need three medals, don't I? I forget what the crest actually is used for. I've had that forever. <laughs> Yeah, I know where the Magnum is located, but you gotta have like three medals, I think, to get unlock it. Fun fact on Resident Evil 1, you put the red and blue gems in the lion statue. If you put the blue gem in the remake snakes, drop from the ceiling. Uh yeah. Really? Is that what happens? Cause I, I know you still do I did the statue thing last night before I died, so I gotta do it again. Didn't have any snakes pop out. So I must have did it correctly. I am headed over here. You use the crest to get the three other crests, which get the magnum. Hmm. You have three spare inventory slots when you use the wind crest. Yeah, something because it's a lot of space. All right. Uh, let's see, I need to go in here. And here, grab the battery. We'll need that to activate the elevator later. Good morning. What's up, my guy? How you doing, dude? I think there's... Yeah. Uh, What's my inventory at? Yeah, I can add the red to this now. Put the battery back and we'll fight the snake. Which Resident Evil has the best plot? Uh, I've never really put best plot and Resident Evil kind of together. I just took the I took the elevator down. Not the wrong way. I don't know. If I really had to give you the best plot, it's probably Resident Evil 2. That's more like best atmosphere, sort of like. Uh, actually, no, Resident Evil 7. Resident Evil 7 is the best plot. I'll give it to 7. Mainly because that's the one that doesn't have all the baggage of the previous Resident Evil plots really holding it back. Okay, that's... On. Okay, which way am I going again? Okay, not that way. This way. Okay, they're getting up way faster now. Like, I just killed him a little bit ago. Resident Evil Code Veronica story is pretty good. You like the Ashford? You like the oh, Chris Redfield? You fallen into my trap? That that? Uh, I love my sister. I don't know if I consider that a good example. Christ, that game sucked. It definitely was worth making fun of, though. I'm too good at that voice. I don't know what that means, though. Look, I am a man of many skills. Also, Steve is in that game. <laughs> hey, Claire! Check out my golden pistols, Claire! I I'm so cool. I'm gonna try to kiss you while you're sleeping.
Did I mention how I hate my father? <laughs> All right. I think we're, yeah, yeah, let me save the game and then we're gonna go fight Snake. You like the new version of Resident Evil 4 story? I think it's best. Uh, like I said, I, I think Resident Evil 4 is just a good game overall. I have, I liked Remake, but I do feel them trying to play Resident Evil 4 plots more seriously did diminish it somewhat because I feel like that plot is so stupid you really need to take a like a non-serious view toward it and I don't know it, it I was remember I remember like complaining that they were going to be trying to make that game serious before it ever got announced and I was right and it did have the I do feel it had like the issues I thought it would have if they did which that being that you know it's just too goofy of a plot to take it seriously all right let us go kill the snake. Sadler goes hard. I mean, in the original game, though, he's like constantly, you know, having like taunt battles with Leon <laughs> to the point that it's just like ridiculous. Yeah, there's a charm that the OG has that F that Resident Evil 4 remake just doesn't quite nail. Because they wanted to take it more seriously. You feel like the game was as serious in both? You mean Resident Evil 4 OG? I don't know. It's hard to... Like, Resident Evil 4 is like almost Evil Dead-like. The original is, I feel. Uh, which I don't consider like a serious horror movie. You like Steve? I'm not going to hate you because you like Steve. You don't have to justify yourself to me. Good evening, Daughter Goons. What did you miss? Uh, we just, like, restored the progress we lost last night, and now we're gonna fight the snake. Shit, I was drinking- I was drinking a soda! <laughs> Don't wanna take damage. Had my hand off the controller. I think I just wasted a shot because it looked like he was still alive. It's okay. I actually got plenty of ammo right now. I say that, but I'm going to like probably burn through a lot of it relatively soon. Yes. And that is everything in this room. Oh yeah, you guys are right, you can't open this freaking door. You gotta come from the lower room, don't you? Or what, you gotta, you gotta come in from the attic? I kind of forget how you get in there. I think it's like you come in, yeah, you come in from the top, okay. Same rope. Through the mirror room in the hall where you got the key. I'm trying to remember what that is, though. These camera angles screw with your memory. Yeah, it's like, I think I go up to the attic, the third floor, then come down to fight the snake. What's the next big boy game? Uh, probably Silent Hill 3. <coughs> That's right, Chad. Gotta play through Silent Hill 3 soon. banger game should be pretty good 
Uh, but, you know, I recorded it a few years ago, but the recording failed and I only, for some reason, didn't record any of the video, only the audio. So I'm going to redo it. Didn't you already stream that? Well, I just answered that question. I was preempting it. But yeah, I did. But like I said, the recording of it did not get any of the video. It only captured the audio. Oh, oh, oh. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm running the wrong way. This way. No, not that way. This way. The old stream is on your stream YouTube page. Yeah, but I can't use that because it's me talking over a lot of things. And also the video quality wouldn't be as good as like a direct capture. I mean, I don't mind playing through Silent Hill 3 again, so it's not an issue. Uh, BF... Be in my local bar or on Dardigan's stream. It's always a pleasure to... Uh, hey, my dear regulars. Hey, well, welcome, man. I wonder if any, like, bar has ever put me on, like, the TV. Like, hey, you guys want to watch a live stream? Uh, what... Do you, uh, Silent Hill, one of the only games you're manly enough to admit that haven't been able to beat because of how scary it is. But you can always play one of the worst Silent Hill games, you know, any one after four. Those are pretty manageable. Yeah, I don't really need more plant. Don't need more. Now, this is a good use of, like, horror angles because it gives you that paranoia feeling of someone looking at you through the window. Guardian stream archives on YouTube in case you miss it. Yeah, but I've told people about it. Here we go. Does anyone actually keep the keys around? There's no reason to, so... Unless you have sentimental value over them. This thing is like the size of it makes it more like a slug than a snake. Favorite grunge band, Nirvana. It's easy, Nirvana. Will you ever send Dead Island 1 or 2? Uh, possibly. I don't want to promise it until I'm actually working on it, though. I have recorded stuff for both of those games, though. Uh, okay, I don't want to... We'll just, like, combine these two. Well, I've recorded Dead Island 2. I haven't actually recorded Dead Island 1. Look, you just want me to send the Who Do You Voodoo bitch song, don't you? <laughs> yeah, aren't I poisoned, though? If I were poisoned, it would have said so. You don't always get poisoned every time the, sn the snake bites you. See, fine. You, were, you legit like Dalian 1? It was curious. If, uh, I'm assuming eventually, yes, I will end up sending it. Who knows? If the Patreon does very well, and I, uh, I wouldn't mind staffing up so I can actually, like, increase output by hiring, like, like, writers and shit. To help me, like, produce a few extra videos. Not just for, like, Patreon. 
All right. Uh, okay, I think we're done with this room. There's apparently something still in it there, right? No, it's just red because we're in it. Favorite uh, TV series? Favorite TV series? What would that be? Hmm. I, like, I don't really watch TV anymore. So I don't, it's nothing modern, whatever it'd be. Uh, everything wrong with promising to play Persona 5. Uh, you know, I don't think I have a favorite TV. Uh, never. Can I, is it weird that I've never really been a TV person, chat? I've been like a gamer since I was like four years old. Like, I, I play, started playing video games where I started watching movies or any television. And like, my preference has always been video games. I mean, there's definitely TV and movies I've liked. But I don't know, for someone as I get, when I get asked my favorite, there's nothing that really comes to like the same things. Like, I can think of games I like way more. All right, I think we're done here. In fact, we're done with the whole damn mansion. Except for that one room, I don't have that. I think that's something you can't get into unless you're Jill, though, right? That's a Jill room. Uh, don't forget to send everyone calling gone poisonous instead of venomous. Mm, that's a mistake we're all kind of guilty of. We all know what someone means, though, when they say it. It's like, don't let it put your know, fluids into you. Regardless, but there is that, you know, very technical distinction of, like, you know, where you ingested it or it was injected. But it's still just a toxic, bad liquid you don't want to, you know, have in you. Mm, okay, I guess I gotta leave the way I came in because this door is busted. Imagine some old guy at the corner of the bar shouting, Hey, football time's over. Dargan's about to start. You know what? I'm I'm going to go on a limb and say, maybe that's happened. Maybe somewhere. There's like a bar that's just really into me. I mean, there's gamer bars out there, right? None. Hey, I've got I've got a reach of millions at this point. It's, it's statistically likely. Imagine going to a gaming restaurant and ordering a jill. Uh, there's actually a. Uh, a game, uh, a, a, a barcade uh, in the next town over from me. It's a really nice place that is all has all of its drinks are gaming related and in, in terms of names. Uh, I don't think they have a Jill sandwich option, but all the drinks are like gaming related. Opinions on the film Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City. I haven't seen it. I have only ever watched one Resident Evil movie in my life, and that is the first live action Resident Evil movie with... Uh, the one where they're like going to the underground laboratory under the mansion and, and it's really dumb and stupid. That is the only Resident Evil movie I've ever seen. Don't really feel a desire to want. None of them ever really attracted me. It's like, yeah, these look kind of dumb. They're looking awfully dumb. So, Polycarp, thank you for 18 months. What's up, Dargan and chat? Hey, hope you've been good, man. Hope things are going well. I just... It's not... Wrong way. This one is completely separate from those films. I don't know, I just, I'm just not really interested in any of the Resident Evil movies. I like it as a game. I mean, why would you ever want to watch a movie of it when you can play one of the games? Alright, so let's, let's like let's put all my goodies away and we can go to Lisa Trevor's place. Four canon Resident Evil movies and all four of them have Leon. The very popular boy, he's so pretty. Alright, someone kept saying when I go to Lisa Trevor's place I need to have a bunch of indie spots, right? 
Or do I need to take anything with me? Something specific, perhaps? Yeah, for the Magnum. Take the crests. Yeah, I've got... Okay, I guess the metal is not the same thing as the other. That's the to open up the laboratory place. The wind crest, you mean? I also need to open this jewelry box, but I've got two metals. Those are for opening up the thing. Actually, like, scan this so I get a proper name on it. Emblem. Actually, I should probably go ahead and fix the box here. Because I need to, like, put these gemstones up as well before I leave. See, this looks like the bottom of a crest to me, but I guess it could also be the top of one. look like there's any way to make any of this fit. <laughs> you know the pieces fit? I, uh, I can't get... It, my brain is like breaking open here. <laughs> like this one seems like it's the centerpiece for sure. Let's go ahead and put this in place. I'm gonna snap in, you stupid, stupid puzzle. Okay, maybe it does. I'm starting to get a note. <laughs> Look at that, I solved it. Good. It's a brooch. A uh, brooch. Okay, that opens that, uh, that remaining door here. Alright. So, uh, I also need to take get that lion head puzzle thing done. I need the other crystal out. Alright, so that was on the second. So where was that? Yeah, that's actually right behind me. Uh okay, I think that'll spawn there'll be like lizards that spawn in the hallway though. I don't want to like bother wasting ammo on them, so I'm gonna run right past them. I got a heal on me, so I'm pretty good. That was a tool reference. I don't know. What is it? Wow. What a mansion. Good timing, by the way, on that one. And thank you for the 100 bits. Not doing it. All right. Right down here. Oh, 
Also, the Colonel Vias from Metal Gear has been the Colonel's VA from Metal Gear or Mutal Gear, as you put it, has been quite a few games. Yeah, but none I've played, so they've been kind of lost on me. Oh, that's where I've been keeping. Like this is this is someone who has gone to great lengths to hide their porn folder. Like they wanted to make sure no one found it. All right. So last thing to do here is to go over to that office and open that up. Wonder if Dardigan has a favorite Creed song. What if? What if? Ah, that's the only one I know from Creed, and it's not even a favorite. I just like making fun of it. What if? What if? Ah, that's actually the only line of it. That song I remember. What if? What if? What if? Ah, God, Creed was so shit. You laugh so hard you dropped your spoon. Hey, that means you gotta use a second spoon. Don't wanna get dirty now, do you? What's Creed? Very forgettable band. I don't know why anyone they were had any popularity. <laughs> You're telling me I don't remember with arms wide open. Oh yeah, with arms wide open. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I actually had forgotten about that. Thank you for reminding me of the, the world of shit. Oh. You know, actually, I just remembered I haven't never gone down here yet, but I think I need to get another item before I can go down there. All right, uh, let's see. We need to get to that office. So we go around the hallway, and we're there. Simple enough. A lot of zombies in the way in that one area, though. Reed Sheds is a is a gym, though. Isn't that song in Spider-Man with Toby? Mm, I forget. With arms wide open. So, why did you put this mind worm in me? Get it out. Chat, the real conspiracy back during COVID was to use up all of that, uh, what was that parasitic drug uh, that everyone was trying to take to get rid of COVID? But it was like, not really getting rid of, you know, worms. The real conspiracy was to use up the supply of that so we couldn't get rid of the mine worms. That was an effective cure to get any of these, like, really shitty songs out of your head. Ivermectin, yeah, the ivermectin supply, it's dried up. Now you're stuck with your mine worms. Thanks, Obama. Can you play your dog song again? Uh, I don't have it loaded up right now. So I'm afraid I'd have to, like, you know, open up Chrome and go looking for it. All right. Yeah, here we are. Look at this photograph. Every time I do it makes me laugh. This is becoming shitty music night. Rebecca, is she upstairs? Do I gotta go save her? They didn't give me like a destination I need to go to. I'm assuming that was just her getting captured and taken down to the basement somewhere. Gotta go save Rebecca or she'll die. East wing upstairs? Yeah, I'm right next to like the stairs, but like right here. They didn't, like, point out a room to go to. 
Tough crowd? No, no, it's actually a very easy crowd. I mean, they're watching me. <laughs> and I'm terrible at singing. Uh, I'm not sure which way to go. Uh, it could be any one of these rooms. Not here, I don't believe. Not this way? Yeah, I don't think it's this way. Flight grab, have a good time at work, man. This one, the one with the knob? This is the lady that was the hero of Resident Evil Zero, by the way. Oh, hell. Hell no. Oh, hell no. Okay. Rebecca. Chris. You okay? I didn't mean to get you worried. We can't stay here any longer. We have to get to the others and find a way out of here. You with me? Others? Yes. Then I'll go ahead. Until then, Rebecca, you're on your own. Stay cool and use your better judgment. Stay cool. Got it? I can handle myself. Good luck. You what? I can handle myself. What's that on the floor then? I can handle myself, Chris. There's no Resident Evil Zero in Raccoon City. Well, hey, I'm just I'm just speaking about what's canonical. I didn't mean to get you worried. Oh, she looked like she was about to cry there. Rebecca has a relieved look on her face. She is the face of relief right there, chat. That mannequin stare. You know, I never realized how tall Rebecca is, because you gotta remember how big Chris is. And Rebecca is nearly as tall as him. You're trying to add more to the brain worm. I, yeah, I, I've like blocked out. No, I know you can only have one brain worm at a time. Didn't in the Chronicles game they explain it was because she was awake for 48 hours? That's just them trying their best to come up with an explanation for like just yeah. They had to shoehorn all that in together. Too dark. Mm, light switch. I'm trying to turn the lantern, but... Uh, will you take the metal object? Those are what go into that behind the stairs door, right? Maybe no one's been in here. Technology related. You need to combine one with a frame? Hmm, I don't think I've got the frame yet then. Alright. I think we're done in here, so yeah. Now we head off to uh, the backyard. What up, friends? What's up, Jim? How you doing? Supposed to be the office of Oswald Spencer. He chose, like, one of the tiniest rooms in the entire mansion for himself. Uh, okay. Gotta go back the long way because I don't- I didn't actually get that little key in the kitchen to unlock that shortcut. No biggie, though. Scratch that. 
That's post steroids, Chris. Resident Evil 1, Chris is 5'11. And yeah, but you don't get taller from steroids. Let's let like Chris also had some of that limb lengthening surgery. <laughs> if that's the case, then Chris's dimorphia, body dysmorphia, is like stronger than we all ever suspected. Limb lengthening surgery from South Park? That is a real thing that can actually you you can have done to yourself. Even after all these years, this game holds up truly a classic. Thanks for playing it. Oh, no problem, dude. Oh but yeah, still pretty damn good game. If you uh I know there's there's only there there's only been like one spiritual successor to this game, and that was that Tormented Souls game. Which is getting a sequel, but kinda wish there was a few more like it. All right, let me put this thing in the wall here since I don't really want to carry it around on me. Not necessary to use that. Oh, I guess I gotta put this one away after all. All right, we put away the thing. Torment and Souls rolls. It's it's a weird game. It's got issues. Uh, but it was like a fun throwback to this type of game. Hopefully the sequel to it that's coming out, I think, this year will fix those issues that I had with it. Thanks for playing a video game. You truly are living the life. Do I detect sarcasm? Hey, some people, you know, they don't really have time to play games in their life, so they live vicariously through streamers. Or they want the community aspect of, you know, playing a game and chatting with people while someone plays it for them. Like, I, I'm, some of my earliest gaming memories were actually watching my older brother play video games. Ugh. Should have used the save room back on the other side of the office, because now I'm going to have to run... Now I'm going to have to freaking run... You know what, actually... Instead of doing that, let me go get the key. Actually, no, I can't do that. I didn't, shit, I screwed myself. We're just going to have to run past those things. I don't want to like, waste any more time. Wrong way. What's it like having a sibling? Well, I, I'm the middle child. I had an older brother and a little brother. Uh, it comes with lots of problems. Sorry for the stupid question. That's not a stupid question. Close. Middle child club. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, isn't it? Biggest disappointment if you used Callisto Protocol. It was supposed to be a spiritual successor to your favorite game ever, Dead Space. Well, luckily you got the Dead Space remake right afterward, but yeah, that was a big letdown, that game. Alright, what do I want to do? I don't think I need the MO disc right now, so I can put that away. Yeah, I need a frame for this thing before I can put them in the thing. And then we got these two metals. I don't think I need these metals just yet, do I? But th these are what go into, like, getting the... Actually, maybe I do need these metals with me. These are what get you the, the magnum, aren't they? You gotta slot them into, like, a stone. Uh, other than that, I'm pretty good. debating whether I want to save right now, but only got three of these left, so I don't think I'll, I think I'll risk it not saving. Just joined the stream. Hey, uh, Rajal Hardywaro? Um, sorry for butchering your name if I did. Welcome to the stream, dude. 
Something I find funny is up until the CG movie Resident Evil Death Island, Chris had remained the only RE protagonist. I to not have been infected by a virus of any kind. Whoa, 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 whoa. Shit, these things are everywhere now. Uh oh, I didn't know. I forgot they could run upstairs. Ah. And they can run down this. Oh, fuck, no. No, 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 no. This is a bad, bad, bad situation. Oh. I'm like, they're like stun locking me. Okay, like, let me get a drink. I got sandwich. We call this getting a train run on you properly. I just literally jinxed myself by saying I'm not going to save yet. All right, I just got to go get the freak. I saved right before I went to get the freaking office stuff and save that girl. So not too much lost. Oh, how long ago was that? Uh, not too long ago. Fear can't kill you, but having your throat cut open can't. Gotta solve the stupid jewelry box again, though. Oh, shit. Alright, I gotta do this, then I gotta get the ammo disc, then go save girl, search room. Then we're back to where we were. <laughs> Where's Chris? Uh, he just got his head cut open. Oh, I know this is right. I guess I gotta move it up a little bit. So fun getting the same puzzle twice. Gotta get the MO disc. Alright, what else do I gotta do? Uh Alright, uh let's see. Run past those, get lion. Beautiful stack of shotgun. That's a beautiful stack of shotgun shells if I do say so myself, good sir. I think I actually need the sword key here to unlock the basement door to get that one thing. That way I can grab the small key. Aren't liquors a result of zombies? These aren't liquors, these are hunters. Liquors are in two. Alright. Time to run past these sons of bitches. Hey, 
in the original re that was a head swipe pretty much decap you without warning yeah i think they can kill you with, without with full health can't they like if either they hit you with it you're just dead Hmm. All right. So that now I got to get that that old key, and then I'll be able to do the shortcut as well. Chris's campaign is just cock and balls torture. That's because he's got on the B torture where Jill didn't have those. Someone gifted you a sub to a Runby. Hey, a lot of been a lot of like yo gift subs recently. So not too surprising. There we go. Don't cycle the games of PS Plus. It's been the same forever. Uh yeah, I don't really like the uh, this whole trend toward gaming, like treating gaming like Netflix that Xbox and PlayStation have been trying to do. Uh, because then your 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 gaming is at the whims of what they add to it or take away. Really, where'd you come from and why? No. no. Back up me. They're really just like spawning shit on you now, don't they? <laughs> Let's spawn some stuff on him. I was alone in the dark. I want to play it, but I heard it wasn't that good. Uh, it's not going to rock your world, to say the least. It's not bad. I will say it is basically like a modern alone in the dark game. It comes with all the like, you know, problems that you would kind of associate with alone in the dark. Uh, the ending of it was pretty nice, but there were times in the rest of the game where uh, things were off. Like the combat was not tight enough. It has that Euro jank feel to it is how I would describe everything. Uh, but it wasn't bad, but I don't think I'd recommend buying it at full price. Didn't check on them lately. Too busy with JRPGs and darting and streams. I'm sorry I'm cutting into your time so much. You have important things to do, but here I am. Ruining lives. Dream wrecker. I'm like I'm the gamer slut, alright? I've said before, hey guys, welcome to Game Slut. My new channel name, chat, changing it from Dartigan to Game Slut. Question for my Twitch chat. Which Twitch emote should I like upload to YouTube next? Cause I'm Starting to get actually pretty thin on options. I put all the major ones up already. Cause I think we unlocked another one tonight. The the old the scam emote. Moo I think I already got the moo emote. Yeah, uh, uh, Darta Nod actually is a good one. I might put Darta, yo, yo, Darta Jam up. So yeah, Darta Jam wins. Uh, actually, that one makes the most sense. Darta Jam is the victor. YouTube sucks. 
Uh, DMCA would make more sense on the YouTube one, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think it's I think it's Darta Jam will be the next one. Do actually animated emotes work on YouTube? I put the Darta Pain emote up, but I don't know if I saw anyone use it yet. Uh, let's see. I don't need this. I will need the wind crest soon, though. We can put that in there afterward. Okay, so animated emotes don't work on YouTube, but they still display properly. Darta, yeah, Darta Noor and you know, Darta IQ are already up. I put, like, like I said, most of like my best emotes are already on you are already on YouTube. Should give them the old classic "you fool" the you know the, the catchphrase I don't use anymore. Is that the son of a woman. <gasps> Darda nut oh, with a Frank the shitty Franker face emotes. <laughs> Did we do this already? Yeah, but I died. I had to do it again. I need to remake Resident Evil 2. Actually, there's a mod for Resident Evil 2 Remake that turns it into a fixed camera angle game like this. I'm pretty sure that door will unlock when you're on the inside of it. It's only when you try to open it from the outside that it doesn't work. Rebecca. Chris. Are you okay? I didn't mean to get you worried. We can't stay here any longer. She recovers from panic quick, doesn't she? Way out of here. You with me? You fuck young boys, Valdez. Jesus. Until then, Rebecca. What's with these insane accusations? Stay cool and use your better judgment. Got it? I can handle myself. Good luck. Resident Evil 3 Remake is a DLC you'd like to think doesn't actually exist. I'm actually planning to play the Dreamcast version of Resident Evil 3 this year. Should be a good time. All right, now that we saved her, I want to know why she didn't walk out this door. It opens perfectly for me. She even tried the knob. It's like uh, maybe she like tried to use the knob in the wrong direction. All right, let me use these two keys. Free up the inventory. Do you consider playing OG 1 through 3? Uh, like I said, I, I have the Dreamcast version of 2 and 3, so I will probably play those. Before we go this way, let's like take care of this other key first. Uh, because I'm planning to make classic sin videos on Resident Evil OG 2 and 3. Three would be the funner one though, because the you know, three remake is so different from it. Hmm. Main gripe with Twin Snakes, they didn't revamp the peri perimeters of MGS1 around MGS2 gameplay. 
severely nerf the game's balance, especially with the FPS mode. Uh, true, but also I think my bigger problem was with it. They made entirely new music for it, and the new music for Twin Snakes was like subpar compared to the original uh, game's music. Sub paw chat word. Fancy word I like using. Twin snakes. Well, yeah, they do also up the craziness of the cutscenes, like snake fighting, like chucking a grenade at a missile in like midair using sniping a helicopter with a you know, shoulder mounted rocket. It gets really dumb. But that's the reason I chose to sin it because it'd just be so much funner to sin all that stupid shit. All right, I need to bring these medals with me, right? At the wind crest. But I had another metal than that <laughs> somewhere. Interesting. All right. Yeah, didn't I have another metal on me? I thought I had like two metals. Maybe I'm just losing my brain. <laughs> the brain worms. I'm not going to save just yet, but I will have to save soon. When I'm recording them, I just use the official Source Next PC ports with a rebirth fix to get them up to snuff. Effectively, the highest quality versions of the classic. What is what is this now? The Source Next. I'm not too familiar with these versions of it. You're missing the Medal of the Wolf. Didn't I have that though? What would I have forgotten in that? Oh, okay, maybe there's still something in this room here, so maybe it's in here. What's up? Uh, hmm. It doesn't look like there's anything left. No, the, the map is just displaying this as red, but I don't think there's anything in here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm almost positive I had the wolf medal before I died again, where I died a few minutes ago. I feel like I'm just going crazy and remembering things that didn't happen. get back to Lisa's house. I'll we'll need to use the crest on the door up here. And then what? Mm. I'm just trying to remember where did I lose the that one that one metal at Wait. Did I have to go fight the snake again? 
Holy shit, I, I didn't save after killing the snake. I'm gonna have to go kill the snake a third time. That's where it was at. Oops, yeah, oops. I just now look, where was the room at? I was like, oh, the big blink one that were the... Oh well. Oh well. It's not a tough fight. It just makes my... I hope people like watching me fight it over and over again. Alright, so we need to go from the... yeah. Go down from there, and then we're there. I need to grab the key out of the box, though. It's a lot easier to get the key out of this box over here, though, than go back to the, the freaking lizard room. Me with no checkpoint. Yeah, there's the, uh, a limited amount of saves I got left is really hurting me now, isn't it? You're round, now on round. Actually, this will be my third time. But well, yeah, that was the first time. So yeah, round four. You're right. Snack expert. Snack expert, huh? know much about the serpent. Heard they're making Resident Evil and Hunk will be the main character this time. You know, I've been hearing a lot of rumors people keep the are like talking about for Resident Evil 9 that it's open world and now this Hunk thing. This is the first time I've heard about Hunk being a main character. I, I mean, I, I highly doubt both these rumors though. Yeah, I just needed that. I'll put that away until I need it to. Alright, let's go kill the goddamn snake again. <laughs> Bring back Tobu. Alright, we'll definitely save after I kill the snake. We'll use up another ink ribbon, because then that's significant prog progress. Back across. Famous last words. Watch the snake kill me one hit. Eat me whole or something. Japanese exclusive PC ports of the classic Resident Evil games from 2005. They are now abandoned wear, so no need to worry. Sometimes it's difficult to get those older games running, though. And even, like, play them with, like, uh, modern stuff. I'll t you know, if you want to, send me some links, Heppo, and I'll take a look at it. I'm not doing it right now anyways, but it's something to do in the coming months. Uh, but I'll look into it. Where the next Resident Evil game is point on a, you know, a dating sim. Don't you want to date Tyrant Coon? He's so big and imposing. And he's an impeccable dresser. The library fight again? Yet again. This will be the last time though. And send the links on Discord. Yeah, that's where I always like take stuff like that. Any special channel, you can just send it directly to me. You'll find... Oh! <sighs> it could have been death right there. <laughs> If he hadn't, like, jumped over me, that could have been death. Like I said, I'm pretty sure their jumping attack is like a one-hit kill. Uh, 
Okay, it's just it's just a crimson skull. It's not a big deal. None of your shit. I've had enough. I've had enough. That's the most emotional noise you've ever heard come from. Hey, I'm I'm a very uh solid your know, uh, emotion. I have a very solid and even emotional response to most stimuli, but every once in a while. <laughs> When something threatens my progress, that's when I truly, uh, I come to life. Heard the next Resident Evil game is going to be set in the Halo universe, chat. You're going to be fighting the Flood as Chris Redfield and Leon S. Kennedy. Pretty cool, right? Hi y'all, what's up Sweet Tooth? How you doing? Well, if you missed my previous snake battles, here's another one. Snake, snake. Yeah, we love the snake, darn again. These already rumors are wild, I know, right? It's almost like it's very easy to come up with a video game rumor and, like, talk about it. Alright, we got the medals. Alright, that's all we needed from that. You guys, did you hear that RE9, they're bringing back Wesker. Uh, you know, Wesker is going to get redeemed. He's actually going to be a good guy. He's given up eugenics after an intense counseling session. He's grown. He's he's doing better, essentially. <laughs> he's like, I thought about my ways, Chris. I'm to realize many things. Chiefly among them. I've discovered that I'm gay. Uh, we've all had our suspicions for a while, Chris. You, me, maybe even my old man Spencer, he knew it before I r ran my you know, hand through his stomach. You missed the part where he has a romance with Carlos? Uh, well, I missed nothing. <laughs> I just refuse to talk about it. <clears throat> All right, now we gotta go save this bitch. We gotta go save this goddamn game. All right, actually the safe way out could be down this hallway and that avoids the lizard room. Entirely.
What am I talking about? We're just talking bullshit, you know, fake, uh, you know, additions to video games. Or like the sequels are like rumor baiting. So I was coming up with the most nonsensical thing I possibly could. What about Kenneth and the other up as a zombie? Doesn't he do that in the original game? Thoughts on the Fallout TV show? I have not watched it. I'm usually not too much too into video game TV shows or movies. Alright, I think we have everything we need now to go uh uh you know to move on. We've got enough chat. We're gonna go save our game and then Skedaddle out of the mansion. Until we need to go down to the laboratory. You have a Dardigan stream addict? Not a good, you know, being an addict is, you know, not a good sign of anything. It was gonna be in moderation. And definitely don't drive while you're watching. <laughs> Am I gonna send FF16 DLC? Uh yeah, that'll be something I'll consider for DLC sins. Uh but first I plan to do the FF7 remake intergrade DLC with UV before that. I'm also planning to do the Resident Evil 8 DLC and possibly all the Resident Evil 7 DLC. Alright. So much work. So much work that didn't need to be there. But we got it done. And they're going to give me some more of these tokens soon because I'm down to two after this. No more snake battles, Jet. It's now officially dead. Okay, I don't know. I don't think I need the MO disc until I go somewhere else, and we'll leave that out of my inventory. We'll take these two things with me. DLCs and classic videos are patron-only content forever. Uh, <clears throat> the way I'm currently thinking of it, DLC sins will likely only be on Patreon. Every once in a while, I might release one of the classic sins videos, but or at least the ones I think are relevant on to like make that a game sin video by just like putting it over there. But majority of them will still be Patreon only. That's my current way of thinking of it. It'll mainly be like games that are classic sins that are also really important or like significant that I would do it after like a significant amount of time where they're exclusive on the Patreon. Like for instance, Deus Ex would be a classic sin, but I would probably eventually uh, release it as like a game sin episode as well. Just put it out there. All right. Out of this way. It also serves as a way of like kind of advertising the you know, the Patreon as well. Like, hey, if you want to see more classic sins like this, be sure to subscribe to the program. Why did I ever remove this? I didn't need to. You don't need to take this out anymore. I don't think after you put it in there. Unnecessary? Wait, what?
Wrong one. I grabbed the wrong one. God damn it. Ugh. They need to make some of these items not look so identical to each other. I think they should be Patreon exclusive for a while. They would be for a while, definitely. They'd be at least six months to a year uh, before I ever even consider. And even then, I'd also put it up for a poll for like the patrons to decide. So the patrons themselves, we get to decide or have the final say on if any of them would go to GameSense on YouTube. Did I miss any sweet Dardigan meme memes? Not any memes, I'm afraid. Just me, like, grabbing the wrong item again. <laughs> Drop the wolf and eagle medals for a while. Don't I need those to get the magnum? I think I need a third one, though, don't I? So, is, is this was what I need to get in there, right? Stone and metal object? Yeah, because this one I can't use. It's like missing the frame. Uh, I forget what the wind crest is even used for. I'm trying to just win. Wind crest and three open slots to get the magnum. Well, uh. Pfft. I'll have three open slots after I use up these two items. There's only two wolf and eagle. Oh, actually, aren't those to use to get into the la the laboratory? Because I got those out of the books. I keep forgetting what I need to put to get the magnum. It's like I said, it's been a while since I played through this game. The memory fails me, chat. And the battery. Yeah, I've got the battery. Definitely, like this part is optional, right? Or do I... Well, no, you need to get something else to, like, even get down there. Is this not right, either? Oh, there it is. Yeah, those are for the lab under the phone. The Alzheimer's. <laughs> Alrighty then. Uh, let's see. We're headed up the mountain. Actually, I went the wrong way. <laughs> what's up? Am I cognizant? What's up, man? This is a really easy door to miss due to the camera angles. <laughs> This came from watching Godzilla and King Kong Empire. How'd that go? I saw some people saying it wasn't very good. It's like, well, what? You coming over or not? The birds are gone, though. These guys are extra, like, goopy. are fitted. Alright. 
equals plus equals. something carved in the two vertical lines across and three horizontal lines. Maybe some kind of symbol, I wonder. Alright, this one's first. Easy. Such a simple, childish puzzle, even. And there, now I have this. A gun has been placed neatly inside. But, but why? Why would you put that there? Just, just what? You know, <laughs> maybe the whoever is buried here really loved their gun. I know, right? That that is a that is a thick, chunky piece of gun. Take it to the grave. I don't think I really need it right now either, so I should probably go put it back. Uh, well, there's an item box up here, so we don't need to go back. Actually, I don't think there's anything up here. Is there anything at Lisa's house that I need? I don't think there is, is there? Like, I think you only go there the one time. Or am I wrong? There's an item box? Yeah, but there's nothing else up there but her item box. I, can, I don't really need to go there. You were coming back this way via the story? There's plot up there? Oh. Plot. You go back to it after the caverns. Oh, okay. So I don't need to go there right now. So I need to go to the caverns then, right? Okay, I'm definitely probably not finishing this game tonight, <laughs> by the way. All right, uh, so yeah, I think we'll head to the... We'll go back. I, well, I do need an item box to get my items out of it. Shit. I need those two things open. You know, the battery plus the two coins. And I believe the crank even. You need the battery and the crank, not the coins? Oh, okay. Leave him alone, Chad. He's like minding his own business. Alright, we don't need the magnum, so we'll put that away. And we need the battery. I don't think we need anything else. Because the two metals get used later. And these two crests, I need those get used later once I get the thing. And I don't need the ammo disc. So yeah, let's take this with us.
Uh, take the battery for the elevator and the crank for the water volume. Yep. Did somebody say crank? But we, no, no, no one said crank. Don't you do a soldier boy joke in my stream. That's up to me when I get to that moment, all right? You mean the w drug? W no, you didn't. I know exactly what you meant. No one uses the term crank for drugs anymore. You're recording lines for FF7 Rebirth tomorrow. When do you think the video would actually be out? It's going to be a big video. My script is currently around 450 cents. Uh, so it's going to be a rather long video. So it'll. My plan is to have it out before the 20th, though. So. Hopefully, I can have it out around the 15th, so several days of hardcore editing. I also have to have the intro made for it as well, but that'll be happening concurrently while I edit it together. No, you can't stop chat. I have all the power. I could ban every single one of you. <laughs> no, I wouldn't, because that'd be bad, but I have such power. If I want to go Scorched Earth. Four twenty, four fifty. It's it's a very long it's a very it's a lot of stuff to go over. It's a big game. Could it could if I would have included like you know side quests in it, it'd be even longer. Are you working full time shift to complete the rebirths in the video? Basically. I mean, I spent like most of my day going over my final draft and adding little touches to it here and there. And now I'm doing four hours of streaming. So I've been working probably about 10 hours today once this stream is over. All right. Uh, let's see. Where is that stupid car battery at? Respect the hustle. Respect the hustle. Uh, actually, I think I already turned the water off when I came back through here, so I don't know if I need to. I don't think I need to do anything with the crank. Actually, maybe. Did dead get? Did Dex get head pats and meows to provide insight? She always gets those, regardless. Yeah, I actually don't have. I don't think the waterfall is running right now, so I don't need to crank anything. Update on Cat. She was clawing at my feet when I started the stream. Since Barry isn't here to steal the elevator, you can take the flamethrower and just replace the broken one for the good one. It's your flamethrower now. Actually, I guess I do gotta, like, crank it and come back around. Let's so take the elevator up once we get it going. Alright, I will permit chat to make one... Chris, crank that soldier boy joke. <laughs> but then again, I just made it, didn't I? Yo! Break that soldier boy. Superman that hope. <laughs> I I I amuse myself, Chad, I'm sorry. Look at that 240p pre-recorded video they in this game. That is some good resolution. <laughs> so Dark Drake65, thank you for the two month sub. Here's for the goonin. The goon Add this one to your goon budget, Dardigan. We all know you need it. Goon and ain't free. Uh, but seriously, thank you for the, the sub. Now, Q, Dart is trying to not sound like a boom. Look, no. Everyone sings the the, the whole stupid, like, Superman. What, what is it? Like, you know, crank that soldier. And it's just like a stupid joke everyone makes. You don't get to use that, like, how logic on me. 
And I did it, one, knowing it was dumb and lame. Not because like, oh, I gotta fit in with the kids. What are the kids like? Oh, they like the soldier boy. Jesus Christ, I have more the old relevance than that. And also self-awareness than that. Now I'm getting eaten by snakes. I can actually say I have never listened to the Soldier Boy song. I've only ever heard clips of it. Dart is addicted to brain worms. Look, they keep me company at night. Remember when Soldier Boy made a yeah, well, what, didn't he didn't make a gaming console? He just sold like some kind of like pre-made thing where he put slapped his name on, and then I think he had to immediately stop doing it because it was illegal. Heard that song every year in middle school. I never listened to it. <laughs> Sorry to say, it was just like a thing on the internet people would like reference for like a solid year. But I just never felt, you know, I'm gonna go listen. I'd see like a clip of it. I mean, talking about Superman and that hoe. I mean, my taste in music are pretty terrible, but I never got into that one. I'm afraid. Is that how car batteries work? I, I guess in an emergency situation, you could use it to power your elevator like that. I don't think you'd want to, though. Pretty sure elevators use a lot more energy than a car battery can provide. The only famous song. Yeah, he's like a one-hit wonder. So I'm assuming he made a freaking ton of money from that one hit. Chinese knockoff NES. I, it's just like, a, like, I think it played like mobile games or something. All right, we can now into the caves. Good luck down there. Sir Mixalot made most of his fortune off that one song. That song still gets played to this day. And then he also gets like uh, paid whenever someone like a was a Mickey Nicki Minaj made like a version of it. So he probably made bank off that. That is unironically a good song though. It's catchy. You can't deny you like you'll nod your head when you listen to it. <laughs> However, I remember when I first discovered that, when my friends started talking about that song, I thought it was like a fake song that wasn't real. Like, you guys are making this song up. This ain't a real song. Hmm. Oh. Go back. Can't imagine Dardigan listening to Baby Got Back. Every I don't know anyone who hasn't heard of that song. Like ever. And let me tell you something. My since my music taste, I, I I've gone over some of the stuff I listen to. Uh I I used to own a <laughs> to my everlasting shame. There was a time I was like, oh, this insane clown posse sounds pretty good. <laughs> Let me get there. One of the first CDs I ever bought was Insane Clown Posse. I was steps away from becoming a juggalo. That's like the first... There's, there's only like two steps. You buy one of their CDs and then you listen to it too much and then you're a juggalo. But uh, thankfully I, I avoided step two. I don't want to save yet, to be honest with you, chat. Oh, no, no. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Give... Oh no, you give. Pretty much you should send that waterfall you had to turn off. There was nothing stopping uh, you other than wet clothes. Uh, maybe it was like really strong water pressure. You don't know. Maybe Chris has hydrophobia. 
your music is too angry. Like I have not listened to like the last time I heard anything from like uh insane clown posse was that magnet controversy. I don't think are they still even making music? Alright, what uh I don't really know what I need done here, so I'm just gonna like keep myself light. I do know, don't question me when it comes to Resident Evil. I, did I did I question you? I don't... Jesus, don't get too defensive. There's a hexagonal hole. Do I need the crank again? Did I just put away? Oh, this is not the right kind of crank. Soldier, soldier wasn't a one-hit wonder. He also wrote "Kiss Me Through the Phone," "Booty Got Swag," and "Pretty Boy Swag." I don't think any of those probably hit the same level of uh, popularity as you know, Soldier Boys. Is is magnum opus. Even for Resident Evil, a typewriter in a cave is a bit off. Look, people with this mansion, the researchers, they were really into journaling. Like at all times. Like, I need to journal. Hmm, what, what might that be, Chris? A large boulder blocks the way. There are bloodstains underneath the boulder. It doesn't block... Punch it, Chris. Your destiny calls. This man has been tied to the legacy of the boulders since his very first game chat. He can't escape it. They're gonna have to like acknowledge that scene in the remake of five. They've made it canon with Yo know, eight. Also, I just realized I need to start a new recording because I've been on this one for like two hours. That's risky, you know, Chad. Very, very risky. Uh, pistol ammo? Sure, but I don't really need it. A huge gaping hole. Wonder what it was dug for. They remake this game, they should put an easter egg where Chris punches the boulder, hurts his hand and says, what was I thinking? Yeah, he's not big enough at that point to like punch it. It makes sense. Elevator is power source. There's a round lid, open it. Will you take the shaft? I don't know, will I? <laughs> Yes, ancient shaft, your know, key batteries, no power, everything. What? I just, wh wh where do they get these custom, your know, power sources at, I wonder? Thank you for the 200 bits, by the way. Shaft, that it is. Appears to be some sort of key to start the power supply. Symbols are carved in the side. Okay. I'll make do. Take that shaft, Chris. Can't resist the shaft. Enrico, 
Enrico. How did you get down here, Enrico? This was locked up tight. <laughs> Also, why didn't they shoot Chris while they were at it? In fact, I'm pretty sure they would have had to shoot Chris. I was standing in front of the dude. Well, I'm okay. I'm glad we had that touching moment. I just wanted the crank. This was locked up tight. Gig well, hey, it's is, it is sealed up by a waterfall. Also, how did he get... How did anyone come in behind me to shoot me? I was just... You know what? There's like nothing back this way. Oh, 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 oh. Did you shoot him? Yeah, there's, I guess he like shot it from this, this direction. There was nothing else back here, was there? What were they exactly mining down here? Because this, this is not something you would normally find in, on the property. How does Wesker get around without any of the monsters attacking and killing him? Good question. There's no answer for it. Enrico is dead. What could he have known? And why do you think Chris was the, the traitor, by the way? Like, there was never any reason to suspect Chris. He wasn't even with them when their team was, like, wiped out. Wasn't Enrico a good distance away from here when he left? Yeah, wasn't Enrico... Yeah, Enrico was in, like... Uh, was in... Was under... <laughs> if I remember uh, Resident Evil Zero correctly, Enrico was down in, like, the under Raccoon City base somehow. And then got all the way back here to die. In this, he somehow he got from the woods around this mansion to the lab under Raccoon City to back to this area. It's one hell of a you know, journey he went on. All right. So now we go back, crank that shit. He was in zero and was checking out the mansion after seeing the labs kind of like yeah but he somehow got all the way there's like a there's like a tram line that goes all the way from the mansion to underneath raccoon city which he took and then took back somehow no 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 Can you die already? <laughs> Your animation is going on far too long. Did I save? Uh, I saved when I got into the caves, yes. Process of elimination. Wesker is the most beautiful, is able to easily avoid suspicion. You know what? That is, there is psychology that actually shows off that people just trust good-looking people more. Now tell me, why would you design the natural cave to spin like this? Can you think of any reason why if you're digging like a tunnel, you would come across, you'd just build this into it? Like yeah, I want like there's a spinny section of my cave wall. Why? Mm -hmm. Dude, don't question me. I pay you.
Uh, let's see. Let me put this other half of the key. I don't need that right now. This is taking up inventory space. I don't know if I need the crank anymore or not, but eh, I'll take. I'll give you with me. <coughs> I'll, I don't even know how you would bi build a natural looking spinning section of a cave. Ooh. Yeah, we don't want to take this yet, right? We gotta find a broken one. Because otherwise this activates, I believe. Maybe I do. Cause I oh! Oh! oh do, 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 do. Like, I'll get it next time, he thinks. Get it next time. What, what would that be here? Shotgun shells. Keep the hexagonal crank with you. I got it on me. I'd really use more shotgun ammo, though. Of course, his rival has never been Wesker. It's always been the boulder. Oh, spider rope. Camera work with me. Oof. Ow. Oof. take the survival knife uh so i'm thinking this is like better than chris's original knife right or is it the same exact thing huge spine well they give it to you so you can get through this actually i forgot the same knife he's like do you have that with you you don't need it here oh You technically don't have to fight that spider if you bring that with you. But where's the fun in not killing a big spider, I, t I ask you? Okay, don't really need blue. Shit wrong. I need to go back. So many OSHA violations. I don't think you know, they get checked very often, Umbrella by OSHA. I mean, they do human testing. Really quick human testing. Uh, Some kind of mechanical hook. Nothing on it right now. Now that Star Wars Outlaws have been given a trailer, what do you think it'll be? Uh, it looks pretty mid, to be honest. I was not impressed by it. It'll likely be an exhausting, bloated, Ubisoft open world game. And the writing itself looked pretty shit. Like, what you're describing is like, 
This sounds like a suicide, yo, suicide job. Smirks. I'm in. It's like, oh god. I'm in. Do that again. Okay, so that's going to come rolling at me. Okay, no, I need to. I see what I can do. I think set these up. You son of a bitch, I mean. You son of a bitch. Oh, finally a good one. However, I might have to use it because no more inventory space. You don't have to say bloated or exhausting, it being Ubisoft is implied. You never know. Sometimes that not everything they make is open world, but when it is open world, yeah, it is clearly just going to be that. Oh, okay, okay. Stop. I'm gonna go over here. Another one that's like, why would we build this? Because of money. Kind of puzzles. Mm. Once you crank this again, it's not necessary. Crank it more. Apparently Avatar is in Fortnite, if you want to know uh, how that is going. Oh yeah, I have not played the Avatar game, they may not really have any plans to. <laughs> Didn't look that great. But you're talking, I don't also play Fortnite, so <laughs> more news that is lost on me. Found you those links for the old Resident Evil PC ports and the required fixes to get them rem- Oh, well thank you for your uh, assistance, I will- I'll take a look at your links, uh, and if, when I decide to like play those games, I'll take a consideration of those. Cause I, like I said, I do, ha I do own a Dreamcast and I own copies of those games on it now, so I could just play it on that if I if I need to, if I have trouble running it. That is. All that just to keep a part, a vital part of your machinery hidden. Oh, okay, I'm gonna have to like. Uh, you know what? Sure. All right. 
Really everything now. Thought that was a duct tape for a moment. That you know what? If I were any of these Resident Evil main characters, carrying duct tape with them would be such a good idea. They could do so much with it to make their lives easier. <laughs> I'd pay for the membership darts worth it, but I'm in financial purgatory right now and no longer work because oh do not worry about it, man. Uh continue watching as you are. Uh never give me any money whatsoever if you're if you're like living paycheck to paycheck. Like that's something only if you want to. All it gets you access to is emotes. Uh, so enjoy the streams for free, my brother. Enjoy them. Yeah, you never have to worry about it giving me money. Especially if it harms you. So don't feel bad about it either. I mean, you're giving me your attention. That's more than enough. You're sitting here laughing at me, like just watching the stream. Hey, what more can a person ask for? Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, I think we just go back now and get this activated. Person can ask for money. I never ask for money in streams. I'd feel like rotten for doing that. So I, th I guess I need to get, uh, I, I need to get a broken flamethrower and put it somewhere first, right? Or can I just take the regular flamethrower and not have to worry about that? Where's the door at? <laughs> you should feed your cat instead. Yes, do not let your cat die for my sake. What the fuck is over here thinking he's a dinosaur or some shit? This ain't Dino Crisis. This ain't Dino Crisis. I uh, tried to DM you the links on Discord, but I'm not sure if they want, went through to you since you don't have me added. But if you... Let me check real quick. Uh, message requests. Uh, uh, send me like a friend request. Wait a minute. What is it? Yeah, I don't see you on here, but hold on a second. Uh, no, I don't see you in here. Yeah, send me a friend request and I'll add you after the stream is over tonight then. And then, yeah, then you can send it to me. Boo, be better. What? You didn't like my, like, you done a fucking dinosaur joke? You guys are hard to please, all right? Look, streams are all about stupid comments, cringeworthy, like, no noticing things, and you'll know, just pretending to get hype over shit. Take it as it is. You're lucky I'm so well moderated in my demeanor. Otherwise, I'd pretend everything is like just blowing my balls off. Chat, 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 did you see that? Holy shit, clip it, chat, clip it. Oh god, clip it. It's fucking. It's like the most annoying type of streamer. I don't believe I need the crank anymore. Put that away. Combine. Missing like cylinder pieces though, aren't I? Or am I? Have I played Dredge yet? Nope. Haven't played it. Let me just crank the shaft. Alright, there we go. Four, two, three, one. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> Follow me on Insta. Alright, uh, let's see. I'm debating whether I want to save. I think I need to want I want to do a bit more before I save. Hmm. 
Smash the like button, hit the notification bell, yeah. You gotta do a lot these days to show you like someone on a social media website, don't you? DM, DM you every time and I didn't add you as a friend on the DM about same yes yeah, discord is weird sometimes about that I don't get it all the time as well uh what was it again uh four two three one Alright, I'm gonna grab the flame door. Might as well. Let's see, where was the flame door at again? It wasn't back here. Oh no, that was where that dude died. Don't forget to follow on Facebook, Twitch, YouTube. Well, these days you have like a link tree that has the links to all those things on it. Because you don't want to put it only, you can't put it only fans link. Usually in your Discord, I mean in your YouTube information. At least you wouldn't want to. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if you have like an only fans link in a YouTube uh, information box, it's like, mm -mm, not a good idea. So you make a link tree that contains a link to all your social. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'll go save now. We've done enough. I might have to, like, fall back Oops, on the pistol again soon. Chad, they're depriving of me of my shotgun ammo. Do I have an OnlyFans? No, I do not. Who knows, I might be missing out on a fortune, but it is what it is. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna, like, use up the weaker shotgun for a bit. Hopefully that gets emptied out. And... I need these... Where you, where are you walking to, Chris? Tentally, you can have an OnlyFans without having nude stuff on it. It's just that, you know, that's what it became known for. You could post videos of you editing together your sins videos on OnlyFans, but that'd be boring as hell. Why would anyone pay for that? Will I be streaming tomorrow? If I'm, since I'm definitely not finishing this game tonight, yeah, I'll probably have to. Exclusive OnlyFans. And look, managing a Patreon will be enough work as it is. I don't want to add another one onto it. Very bored people. Then I'd rather like do something more interesting than like edit videos for you. You gotta, like, you know, use the strengths of the platform you're on, chat, so... we have to do something risque on an OnlyFans. Otherwise, we'd be like, what the hell is this shit? Why? Edit that video, you dirty slut. I mean, people like my voice, so I guess I could do dirty ASMR on it. That's the best idea I could give you. I 
am I even down here for at this point? Uh, let's see. Hmm, you know what? I'm gonna use the pistol instead. I don't trust just six bullets of this. Poor OnlyFans was taken over by aspiring nude models. OnlyFans was mostly inhabited by nature photography people. Really? I wasn't aware of this bit of lore. I'm assuming that wasn't a long period of its uh, history. Only in my underwear, but all of you working out and toning to turn a froth. You guys are like, just want me to like, slutify myself, don't you? Uh, hmm. Hmm, yeah, let's go this way. Whoop. Only ones went from all natural to all natural. You're already entertaining enough for chat? Well, thank you. I try. Voice infomercials? Like, you know, people always recommend I have a voice for like people who want to listen to. I have no idea how you get into any of those industries. It's a mystery to me. With the advancements in AR VR technology, do you think that virtual sex work will become a thing? It already is a thing. Uh, there are entire like virtual brothels in VR chat, where you can hire like women to like role play sex with you, or men too. I don't know if that's necessarily healthy for you though mentally. Let's see. What am I doing? Device for transporting materials started up? No, not yet. What the box? This is one advanced underground they have going. Have you tried asking for what? Can I please have job? Can I please have voice roll? I, I look. I I'd probably suck. And I only have this one voice, so you'd have to like find a role perfect for me. Virtual sex work? You mean Twitch? Well, depending on the channel. But no, I, in terms of like VR chat, like literal like women who will like grind, virtually grind on you and shit. So it's a bit more uh, advanced than what Twitch offers. According to that one Sunogram in 2015, we'll be having sex with robots within the next year. Hmm. The dark future we have promised to us. Try using the internet. What's this internet you talk about? Internet? Okay. I'm gonna sneak around. Oh yeah, you need the flamethrower to get to that door, don't you? <laughs> Alright, we gotta pick up the flamethrower. 
So more like VR strip clubs. Yeah, and they, but like I said, yeah, they'll do full on like sex work though, where they like pretend like they're like literally doing dirty stuff with you. Dirty stuff. What am I fucking goofy telling his son about dirty stuff? Son? Oh. We not give back up. Was the cave system this long in the original? I don't think this cave system was in the original. This is one of the things they added to it. Your father doesn't have sex, Maxi. He fucks. Oh, I hate, I hate that. I hate it. I hate that line you just created in that voice in my head. You, you will not, you, Goofy was a good dad, all right? He would never say that. He would take his son out to like the roller rink and explain the birds and the bees. You have to wonder why Chris decided, you know what, I'm gonna like smash this box. I bet there's something good in it. That'll be vital. Oh yeah, here, here a broken flamethrower. Yeah, I need that. Man needs a broken flamethrower. All right, now we can get the real flamethrower and then go into that cave protected by mutant lady. Actually, I guess I can't do that yet. I gotta like go through the cave, or right, I think. Wouldn't the press crush the flamethrower? That's why it's broken. I'm assuming that's why it's broken. Goofy had game. He got minimum three bad bitches throughout the Goof Troop series. Uh, well, I mean, can you blame him? Look at Goofy. He's like total Chad. And also, he's got that really good father appeal that a lot of women are just find irresistible. And like, they see, like, a good single dad, they're like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Where are that? Okay, so I don't think I need to switch anything out. So, uh, we'll put this back. Yeah, because I can't go back up the elevator anymore. It's boosted. Alright, uh, let's see. Actually, was it the elevator I went up originally to get down here? Yeah, it was. <laughs> I mean, that guy went to back to college just to support his child. Where's the map I'm looking for? Courtyard residence. Here we go. Alright. Alright, let's go deal with this. Because they're dogs that's never been confirmed. Because they have a pet that's a dog. One of the great mysteries. They're dog-like. You coming? Who makes a flamethrower a key to a door, by the way? Oh, yeah, I gotta hit the lever to make the thing pop out. Crap. Can you, like, move? <laughs> Ow. 
Oh, the camera angle is screwing me hard here. Pfft. Ow. Ever wonder what happened to Mickey and Donald in these movies? Uh, no, because it was meant to be Goofy. Goofy was always, like, way undersold compared to Mickey and Donald. He needed his own thing. You know what? She decorates nice. Goof went back because he needed a new job after getting fired from his factory job and because he never got a diploma. Yeah, but it usually takes a while to get through college, right? And he somehow, like, you know what? During that, I'm like, where was he getting money for one pay for that and to, like, keep your living expenses going while he wasn't making any money? This is a very Resident Evil 4 and, you know, kind of now 8 style location. Oh, a little snick. You take the jewelry box. Mother and father seem to be pretty close. You got the stone ring. Family pictures and notes. There's something written on the back. <clears throat> November 10th, 1967. Regenitor virus. Ooh, that'll become important later on. Jessica administered virus type A, plasmalizing of tissue during cell activation. Virus fusion negative. Action disposed. Lisa administered virus type B, plasmalizing of tissue during cell activation. Virus fusion positive but delayed fusion. Body modification observed. Constant results. Continue protective observation. Action. George. Action terminated. 1967. There's a journal left by someone. <clears throat> I feel dizzy after that shot they gave me. I don't see mom. Where do they take her? She promised that we would escape together. Did she escape alone and leave me behind? I found mom. We ate together. I was very happy. But she was a fake. Not my real mom. Same face but different inside. Have to find mom. Have to give face back to mother. I got mom's face back. Nobody can have my mom except me. I attach her face to me so she doesn't go away. Because mom's sad when I meet and when I meet her without her face. From inside box, scent of mommy. Maybe true mother there. Stone box hard. It hurt. Steel rope in the way. Can't see mother because four stones. They didn't even know about DNA in 1960s? Uh, pretty sure DNA had been discovered by the 60s, hasn't it? They just couldn't really do anything with it. Does the G virus stand for goon? <laughs> it does now. Am I missing anything in here? I think I got everything. Uh, sure. We'll take uh, take these. We gooning. Everybody start the goon. <laughs> no, or don't do that.
All the way up here, huh? Shit, I, I didn't grab the flamethrower off the wall down there. I gotta go all the way back to get it. Unique DNA itself was discovered in 1869, but like the human genome was only completed in 2000. Yeah, they didn't read it until then. Oh yeah, the other one's stuck in the wall, isn't it? All right. Hmm. I'm, we only have the lab left now, don't we? Or no, there's a, there is one more underground place besides the lab. That's where we're going next. Where's the weight freaking down? <laughs> How did I go in a circle? <laughs> Here we go. Oh, this so hard to trick you and navigate this area sometimes. There we go. We'll leave that poor dude alone. 7.09 PM for you. Still pretty early for you then. I guess I don't really need the flamethrower, but I'm probably going to need the flamethrower later. Is that person in Hawaii or Alaska? Alaska. Buff is like uh, keeping the vigil going over the you know the polar bears for us or the any what we all want all the other horrors that come out of Alaska. <laughs> the box states are frightening, chat. You never know what's gonna pop up. Alright, uh let's see. So we'll go ahead and do this. You don't sleep until 1 a.m. I sometimes don't go to bed until 2. I'd, I'd like to start going to bed around 12.30, to be honest, though. Take it. Any interest in sending another Yakuza game? Uh, possibly Like a Dragon at some point. I've started playing Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, but I have not gotten back to it for a while. Okay. This way. Should probably save again, honest. Oh, I don't have enough, I don't have enough tokens. Should be good. I say. I say. We'll see though. I'm willing to play dangerously right now. I'm 
this is the technically the end of the mansion area. Last bit of it. Two emblems fit neatly into the door. Open it. Yes. I had an ink ribbon. I can save my progress. Are you hinting at something? You hinted at something for me. Rather, I didn't... It wasn't that long. Okay, when, last time I saved was before I got... Uh, grabbed the flamethrower and then did that. So it wasn't that long ago. I feel like I could do voice acting for video games or shows with your voice. Uh, I mean, you got any roles for me? I'll be interested to take them. No one's ever contacted me professionally about doing voice work, though. I'm going to play Dangerously Dart, Danger, and Dead. I'll start with D. D's nuts got it. <laughs> I admit that was a good one. You tricked me. Didn't see it coming with all those Ds there. Uh, how many do I have? I have... Let me save. Got three, okay. As long as I don't use another one relatively soon until I... I have to wait until I get the next batch of save icons. Or, you know, ink, as they call it, you know, traditionally. Alright, I will also take my shotgun with me. Uh, no. Regular shotty. Mm, okay, that should be good. Alright, I'm ready to face whatever's down here. Hey, Dart and Chat, I've got to stay, say that I've been thinking these streams, are, uh, you've been liking these streams Resident Evil very much. Hey, well, thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed them. You're a part of these streams and why they're good. Wesker. Uh, unlike, I, I don't think, unlike Barry, you have to worry about keeping him alive here. What? Wesker? What? I guess that's supposed to happen. Do you miss out on a cutscene if it gets yeeted, though? to like look and see if there's like a cutscene you get from like him not getting yeeted. Chris doesn't even react to that like eh, 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 whatever. <laughs> Inside the coffin is a skeleton. Wait, there's something else. Family picture. Hmm. <clears throat> the letter. Day by day I can feel my consciousness drifting further away. The shots given to me by men in white clothes made some of mommy's itching go away. Today they gave me another shot saying it was nutrition. <clears throat> when they gave me the shots, mommies can, can think straight. But mommy's shocked and sad because mommy's unable to think of you all the time. 
Mommy's afraid. Afraid of forgetting everything, especially the memories of you and Daddy. While your faces look like how we used to be together. They're all starting to disappear into somewhere dark in my mind. Oh, Lisa, I wish I could touch your face and hold you in my arms right now. So that I can hold on to your wonderful memories of you and Daddy. Lisa, we can't stay here any longer. We have to escape. Listen to me, Lisa. Our chance to escape is the next next time when we go to the lab together. We'll both pretend that we are both unconscious, and when the man in white clothes is off guard, that will be our chance. When we're on the outside, let's look for Daddy together. Okay, sweetie? Be strong, Lisa. 1967. Chat, chat, chat. You gotta admit, though, for something who is just like a research test subject, they gave her one hell of an amazing mausoleum. Like, you know what? Put her down there and, like, where we put freaking Cthulhu's and shit. And there's a skeleton hanging up over there. Probably mandated by the insurance company. Did Wesker get knocked off the ledge during the fight? Yup. What's my health at? Ooh, I'm in caution. Hmm, this is the entrance to the laboratory. Now I gotta go back and get the stuff to get into it. a large iron door and it won't budge. Okay, uh, yeah, I gotta go get the coins, don't I? Interesting cause if Barry got knocked off, he dies. Well, yeah, that's because Barry's technically redeemable, unlike Wesker, who's like kind of necessary to be as being the villain. That's just to make you like, like Wesker getting knocked off is to make you think it's not Wesker who's behind everything. Because, oh, he clearly got, like, knocked off. He can't be... He's dead. All right. Go grab our stuff. Your power is going on and off. You getting rain? No, no, it's the eclipse that we got. It's still got its lasting effects on all of us. And our, you know, infrastructure. Chad, did you know that Lisa Trevor, this character you just saw jump off the cliff, she gets her end in a light gun game when Wesker kills her as he's escaping the mansion. <laughs> kind of weird. Like, you have this super tragic, like, you know, sad figure, and then, like, Wesker, like, blows her away uh, in, like, a light gun game. <laughs> Umbrella Chronicles? Exactly. Like, I don't have time for you. <laughs> Shoots her. All right, uh, what do I want to take with me? Things I need to take with me, that's what. I, I, remind me to make sure I end up using the self-defense gun on the final boss, just so it doesn't sit in my inventory unused. Can't let that go to waste. If I hadn't like lost, you know, I'm trying to remember how long the laboratory is. I think it's at least two hours, around two hours to get through it, right? We'll see. Once I find a map, the map, I'll have a better idea. Hmm. 
Why are you going to save Jill or let her die? Of course I'm going to save her. What do you think I got that MO disc for? Pretty sure that's what determines whether you save her or not. Still not done with the underground. Hmm. Length of the lab depends on your epic gamer skills. Doesn't everything in a video game though count on that? Why did we get an elevator to come up to this this one just like nice looking fountain to get into another level to go down when they could have just extended the tunnel? Sign reads, will not open unless in first class emergency. What about a second class emergency? That, you're screwed. You just gotta wait, walk out of the place like normal, like a normal person. Oh yeah, here we are in the you know dirty ass laboratory where they conducted genetic research. Mm, yeah, we'll go ahead and save. Why not? These are probably the last tokens I'm getting in the game though for saving. Actually, since I think I'll be fighting zombies down here again, so I'm probably going to want to burn their bodies. So I don't need two hills on me. I think if I go over tonight, I could finish it. So that I don't have my gun equipped. Let me fix that. Love to see it. You'll love to see it, chat. Perfect one shot head pump. I do kind of need one of these heals. Actually, I need both of them mixed together if I want to get back to full health. Blood, blood. Chris out here inspiring Alan Wake type ups messed up. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if that, that might have maybe, not entirely, but a little bit in there. At the very least, it made sure that, you know, Alan doesn't use a word processor. Wish you could, like, vary the degree you ain't up instead of, like, just maximum. Mm. 
He kind of looks like me. He couldn't have popped his head earlier than that. map. You take another MO disc. Hmm. Chris's hair is too dark. Well, I wasn't talking about Chris. I said about the guy I was killing. Be awesome if you could unlock the service corridors that the employees use or the whatever the zombies use to get around to. Can we get moo for the, the moo for the moo disc? Moo for the moo disc. These are some healthy ass zombies. But I ain't dealing with crimson heads later. Got a two over there, but I had to go refill the canteen. You're not just now asking questions like, but why are you? I'm constantly in need of answering all questions related to everything in video games. I am rhetorical questions are my bread and butter. But <clears throat> but I was about to make a joke about vegan zombies because that's my favorite go-to. Good old healthy vegan zombies. Okay, that almost gone through all my pistol ammo. But hey, we want to clear this path. We use a lot here. And if I'm not mistaken, later we gotta like walk a bunch of explosives around. Yeah, definitely want to clear this section out from whatever call of it. It's a joke. What do vegan zombies eat? They're just whatever. They, you know what? They're the ones who like take all the bullets. What made you start playing Resident Evil Dart? This game in particular? I'm planning to do a video on it eventually. And I, I've already recorded Jill's session of it, of like a year or two ago, so I needed Chris's, because I'd probably need to mention like the specific things that happen in each campaign, because there's a few differences here and there. Lone in the Dark 2008, good graphics, decent story, but God did, I forget how terrible the controls were. Didn't have like good ideas for how its inventory works too, like you would like combine items that give them new abilities. I remember being actually kind of interested in that game because I saw a demonstration of you like wrapping sticky tape around something and sticking it to a wall. I don't know if that actually made it into the game. Uh, but yeah, apparently the game ended up sucking. But you know what? Could have been worse. Anyway, no, wait a minute. This room. There's a space to put up an x ray photograph. And I got no room. Researcher's letter. My dearest Ada, by the time you read this letter, I will no longer be the person you once knew. The results of my test came out today, and I suspected came out positive. You think Ada remembers this guy? Oh yeah, that guy I dated back at the mansion. <laughs> I feel like I'm teetering on the edge of reason just thinking about my impending doom. I would give anything not to have to become one of them. As far as I know, you are not infected. I sincerely hope things do not reach such a desperate pass. Uh, but if it has turned out that you are now the last person remaining alive, I want you to get the material from the visual data room. 
The active then activate the self-destruct system in the power room and escape from there from here. <clears throat> Please do everything in your power to make this whole accident public. If everything is still running normally, you should be able to release all the locks using the security system. Set up the terminal and the small security room so that you can log into the system using my name and your name as the password. Uh, you will need another password to release the lock of the door in basement level 2 where the visual data room is located. As a safety measure, I have coded that password into an x-ray picture, a, ro a rotinogram, <coughs> rointogram, or genogram or whatever. I know you and I'm sure you will be able to work it out without any trouble. There is just one more thing, and it is my last request. I hope you never have to lay eyes on me in this state, but if you do happen to run into me in my hideous form, I beg you to put me out of my misery. I hope you understand. Thanks to you. Thank you, Ada. Yours truly. <coughs> Ada's putting a leash on Leon. Ada was using John to get into this lab, and she does the same thing to Leon. True. I don't think she forgot him since he was her only source of input. He made it sound like she was here at the mansion while this was happening because he wanted to activate the self-destruct. The but there's another Lone of the Dark game that was on Dreamcast I'm thinking of playing eventually too. John, Ada. The name written on Alex Becht. Ed Fisher. Right, I gotta go dispose of some stuff in my inventory. Your power's back on? Congrats. Viva La Trash, that emote usage is like creepy. Who else would like think to have like an emote that's just a body part like my free gas? And they made it their mouth. You know what I handed to you? It is creepy looking. Uh let's see. I need to go. Where is it? Uh this way. Ada sure gets around. It's all business professional. Technically, she doesn't sleep with anyone. She just acts seductive. Why the stream title is complete global mooning? Gooning, not mooning. Very different term. Uh, it's a reference to Alex, you know, you know, Wesker, and also the act of gooning. Ada was hired to be on the streets. You guys are mean to, like, people in their professions. No, she does her job best she can, alright? I need to start... I got so many hills. Crying out loud, she never even slept with Leon. Yeah, she's been stringing him along for a, a decade or more now. I like to think eventually they settle down together. Sad part is John died thinking Ada was going to expose Umbrella for their crimes and Ada was actually going to sell the info to the highest bidder. Yeah, maybe Ada ain't a good person. Maybe, maybe Leon is like really fortunate that he's not getting with her. Turns out someone who would, like, assist a genocidal company commit, like, massive human rights violations probably shouldn't be dating them. Maybe they'll bring back Lee. As long as he is not dead, he can always show up in a new game. But he just had the remake of 4, so they're probably good for a while. when the message board catches your attention <clears throat> there's something scrawled on the notepad to use the electronic door place the initials in alphabetical order Alex B A B C D
part of it is glowing red. Uh, so soft, that's like, yeah, I know. So you got colon. I'm not sure about, I forget how you do this actually. If you're like looking at like those parts that are lit up. No, I didn't want to do that. What are you doing? So these are all alphabetically correct, but they make certain organs light up, so... No, no, I don't want to, like, do that shit. Stop. I'm assuming you use this then, but why should let me look at this without this stupid thing showing up on it? So you got, what is it? Hole in an esophagus. Oh, I'm guessing that's C and E. And that's liver, so C E L. And lungs? I don't think it's... well, it would spell cell, so C-E-L-L. -L. Uh, you going- you doing a no damage playthrough? Uh, me? No. No, I've already died several times. Uh, so, I've gotten the word cell out of this, so... Mm. Well, so... I guess we're good. I think I- did I actually solve that? I'm pretty sure I got it right. There wasn't any, like, satisfying, like, you solved the puzzle conclusion sound, but I'll take it. How many deaths, drafts do you usually make? Uh, usually at least three. First draft is, like, the rough draft. is just sketching out a timeline and, like, listing notes of things I want to hit up on. Second one is, like, adding structure to it and making it all make sense. Third one is adding comedy. Levers for releasing the door locks. Now if you can just release the locks on the levers. Alright. Just started watching. Are you close to the end of the game? Technically, yeah, we're in the final area. It's just a matter of getting through all of it. Which, you know, and me might take longer than normal. Locked. Symbol resembling a power area is carved in the lock. Locked. Symbol resembling a power area is carved in the lock. What are your plans for the rest of the year? You think I plan ahead that much? Uh, but as for like games and stuff, the next I got like the next the next two big new games I'm planning to send are Stellar Blade and probably Hellblade, so two blades. Uh, then I just go as what comes out. Hey, can I see that Magnum ammo, please?
But yeah, Stellar Blade should be a big one. The, the, the next true big one. But right now I'm working on FF7. And having that out in the next week or so will be finally a weight off my back. And hopefully the biggest video of the year. Oh, Umbrella, Logins. Okay, Ada. I think so. Nope, that was the that was not the password. Shit. What did I do wrong up in the old x-ray room? I was so sure of that. Unless wait, is it sell the log login the password data? Don't forget, you also have to send Dawn Trail expansion. No, I, no, I don't. I don't play MMOs. Mm, John and Ada. Was it both of them? I thought it was just one or the other. John is a login. Okay. Try that then. You never use your names like this for it. Uh, basement door lock, operation select floor. Into a password. This is probably the cell thing then. Mission granted. Unlocked. All right, we're working with gas now. <laughs> Researchers note, uh, there is now evidence that when the host loses consciousness, the body goes into a dormant state. During this time, the virus becomes active and rapidly transforms and reconstructs the basic composition of the body. Hosts eventually mutate into a humanoid creature. We call them v -ax. Its speed and amazing muscular development are particularly noteworthy. After transformation, it becomes more agile and aggressive. Already four of our researchers have died from trying to feed it, turning the place into an instant bloodbath. Ever since this tragic and barbaric accident, we have decided to call its kind Crimson Heads. A dangerous and precious prototype specimen can't be left there. We have to figure out a way to deal with it. Termination is definitely not an option. We finally decided to freeze the specimen and confine the body inside the basement of the backyard cemetery. And then we also created four stone masks and made the area look really spooky. It's all part of science. We need a Dardigan review on some democracy. What, you mean Hell, Rise, Hell Jumpers 2? It's kind of hard to like make it like a proper sim video of something that's straight up multiplayer. Three letter password. Look, he did it because his girlfriend, he, he thought she would need, you know, want to do it quickly. <laughs> Can't wait to play Stellar Blade. Why? Because it is marketed at games. Me. I mean, you can play the demo, and it's pretty solid. Pretty solid all-around experience. You missed the demo stream? Well, the VOD's still there. If you care for watching VODs and all. The cadavers are frozen, wrapped in body blocks. I think I will just go over tonight to finish this game up because I do got a lot of line recording to do tomorrow. I'm not going to want to stream after recording all day. <laughs> Hate to date myself, but I was like 18 when this game came out. I mean, hey, it's probably fine, man. No judgment here. This ain't some like, yo, ages, ages stream. I mean, I've got, there's like, dude, there's like a few people who are like 50 who like watching my stuff in like live streams at times. So no worries.
He just, you know, that, that kind of shit is stupid anyways. You know, he's like, well, how old? <laughs> no. I, I accept all gamers of all ages. As Well, you have to be over 14 to use Twitch. So as long as you're over the age of 14, you're cool in my book here. All right. So that, that unlocks some doors for me, right? And what's funny is that all the people who have been complaining on social media about the Stellar Blade female characters when they were designed by an actual woman. Uh, like I said, I don't really go on social media looking for these kind of arguments, so I have no doubt there are people who are, like, posting stupid stuff. But it's I'm pretty sure, like, both sides of this argument have been posting some really shit takes. I, I hate to be that both sidesers, but uh, from what little I've seen of it, it's like, for some reason this game has become, like, a battleground for a lot of people and I don't I think just why can't it be a game we enjoy <laughs> why do we gotta make it a cultural war over like we must fight and defend we must defend this game or attack this game like is this is a fucking video game at the end of the day I'm gonna have hopefully have fun with it that's all I require all right let me go back I need to like empty my inventory you're absolutely right about the dart again they're idiots yeah I, I, I'm usually bombarded with a bunch of YouTube videos and like I'll see the thumbnails like it's usually right now a mix of like they hate this game picture of ass right in front of the thumbnail and then like they'll be like counter opposing videos like it looks alright to me or like this game is six like god everything is the most extreme version of itself nothing can be moderate you you must be extreme Chad that is what everything on social media wants you to be. There is, like, the only place for moderation is my live streams. Jardigan, destroy Stellar Blade. Yeah. Nothing can be sexy, nothing can be not sexy. You must be one or the other. Otherwise, someone will hate you for it. So, I would rather not be involved with any of these people. <laughs> because I, you know what, I still do what the, the legends tell you to do, what the ancients once did, and that is touch grass. It actually does help a lot. All right, uh, I will save again. Just want to play games? Exactly. A lot of people don't want you to enjoy playing games, whatever, for one reason or another. Because, you know what? There are things that must be discussed. Touch grass or smoke it. Uh, but yeah, never let anyone pull you to an extremist belief, either way, left or right. Uh, they're usually just wanting you to be part of their experiment, in my opinion. Annoy both of them by being middle of the road. That's the way you get under everyone's skin, Chad. All the nuts, like, you just refuse to take either of their sides. That way, you're the most hated individual possible. A lot of people want you mistakable or well like i said you can't really like make money if you're too middle of the road you gotta like take a more extreme position if you're gonna make content off of it you'll usually only get two types of videos like you'll stellar blades too sexist or stellar blades destroying the people who l want only ugly video game women or something uh you don't really see too much like yeah this looks like an okay game i'll play it don't really care for the arguments Sorry for trying to make a game with some kind of agenda. Uh, well, there's games with agendas. I've played some very good games with an agenda. Uh, but usually they're also smart about it, too. And I think that's the key difference. But it's usually not the game with an agenda. It's the people who want to, who are like either playing it or not playing it who have the agenda they want to push. I think these are still locked, right? Yeah. Need power back on. Hope Stiller Cake has a good story. We'll have to wait and see on that. That could be either or. Alright, so I guess I can now go in here. You like big butts and I can't lie. Well, I'm right there with you.
I'm glad that guy's dick rotted off because that would have been awkward if I walked in on that. You take the slide filter. Next ray photograph. The skeleton structure displayed isn't quite human. Uh, there seems to be something behind the sturdy door. Open it. Yes. Warning, fuel may explode if shaken or jarred. Looks like a refueling device. Security system passcode transmission device. If you had an MO disk, you could transmit the passcode to the system. You don't say. I've got two of them, in fact. Uh, sanitation division. The manager of sanitation from Raccoon Disaster Contingency Committee. Contents of this fax are confidential and intended for the named addressee only. Any copying or disclosure of the contents of this fax to any third party is strictly forbidden by the sender. After reading the contents of this fax, it must be destroyed immediately. We expect significant increase of the damage done by the recent T-virus outbreak than initially estimated. There are several concerns. First concern, more than half of the researchers have been infected by the T-virus and died. It's all, it has also been reported that almost all the survivors of this accident are starting to show symptoms of the T-virus infection. Second concern, our secret security patrol team has also been completely eradicated. Therefore, our most secret research is in public is in danger of public disclosure. Quick actions are demanded to prevent mass media coverage. <coughs> Third concern, there is a high possibility that most of the specimens are running loose inside the compound. We expect many casualties to follow. However, yet unfortunate, these casualties underscore the success our research results. <coughs> actions must be taken to prevent our research results from being made public. We suspect the first official intervention will come from the state police and STARS. We strongly recommend taking measures against them first. Hmm. You know, this is a small detail for me, but I like the fact that magnum rounds are hollow points. Uh, you like little details like that? Yeah, that is actually, you know, they would do a lot more damage that way. Alright, we gotta go get my MO discs. Get the MO discs. Nothing else I can do down here. Like an evil dentist office. Then again, that's just a regular dentist office. <laughs> I kid, my dentist is actually pretty good. This really does sound like a pharmaceutical company. <laughs> With its own paramilitary viol force that it owns. I'm kind of curious. Since, obviously... Umbrella is a pharmaceutical, they're a pharmaceutical company. This, this, this T-virus and progenitor virus and G-virus stuff can't be the only stuff they've ever made. So what kind of like medicines have they brought to market that have actually done good for the world? There has to be some for them to make so much money, right? Like what disease did like Umbrella ever cure before they went down this like, you know, whatever path? Like, I'm curious. Co they made Oxycot. You know what? You know, considering that that is there is, that was a real thing a pharmaceutical company pushed on people. Like, hey, we got all this extra, like, you know, dope. We just, like, put it on, sell it to people. COVID vaccine. Little, this was in the 90s, so not quite that. All right, we're stocking up those magnum rounds for the final fight. Uh, let's see. I need my MO discs. I got two of them. Bath salts. Umbrella mass-produced ivermectin. Uh, 25 bits, can you imagine how much money Umbrella would make if they marketed first aid sprays? Spray that can bring back, uh, from the death they're making. I actually, I think the green herbs is what they sell to the world, probably. Now that I think about it. Well, so they base themselves at a raccoon city. They're like, yeah, we just like, we're, they, they're actually not a pharmaceutical company, chat. They're a supplement company. 
it makes so much more sense now. They're just like a really successful supplement company that then like, what if we just are like, you know, getting into eugenics after selling all of our herbal supplements, for like billions of dollars. Yeah, uh, this is my new head cannon. They were a herbal supplement company selling like, you know, just green herb shit. Then that, yeah, and creatine. And then they got in like, you know what? We've made so much money. Let's get into real medicine. Let's start selling the good shit. These genetic like viruses, recombinant of viruses. Why a vision change? You know what? I like my lore. Herbs are native, yeah, but they, they've been like, I think they're growing them around other places because you find them all the way in like, you know, Spain and uh, uh, Czech Republic or whatever that was in what, Chechnya. When, what, what, where was it again in like Resident Evil Village? So somewhere, yeah, somewhere in Eastern Europe. All right, MO Disc 1 and MO Disc 2. Is there anything different about them? There's to be a disc for rebooting a system of some sort. Transmitting the passcode seems to have unlocked something. Not necessary to use this now, really? Can't use that. Why not? Okay. Guess you can only do one at a time. Bet they sell essential oils, all you know it. I gotta do do I really gotta do it these one at a time like this? That's awkward as hell. Yeah, I need one more MO disc somewhere. I think I need to find another one of these boxes too. What are the devs that think you're putting MO disc into? That's a modified GameCube, really. Oh, it might have been like a GameCube dev kit. Or based upon it. I don't think I can do the fuel puzzle yet. Alright. Alright, so did that unlock a room anywhere near me? Maybe they were a soda company like Coca-Cola. <laughs> Coca-Cola has some umbrella-like properties, like their 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 focus on security. And vaults and shit. But uh the Canadian virus. Uh Hmm. Yeah, this is nothing left in this room. Yeah, okay. We gotta go back now. We gotta find another area to get into. I'm assuming hitting that lock opens something else up for me. We miss you, Matt Pat. He didn't die, you know. He's like, I'm still here. Don't worry, he's super he's very rich. He's very happy. There's not really much else to check except these two rooms. Hmm.
Here's a fun fact for you. You can examine the ink ribbon. I mean, I'd imagine so, but it's, it's like an, it's an ink ribbon. Maybe, uh, maybe here. Oh, there's the other one I need. Oh, I need the, I need the slider in here as well. All right. Security protocols. Heliport for executive use only. This restriction does not apply in the event of an emergency. Passage to heliport entry is prohibited unless accompanied by a consultant researcher or the chief of security. Unauthorized persons entering the heliport will be shot on site. Elevator. The elevator stops during emergencies. Visual data room for use by the special research division only. All other access to the visual data room must be cleared with Keith Arving, room manager. <coughs> prison sanitation division controls... The use of the prison, at least one consultant researcher, E. Smith, S. Ross, A. Wesker, must be present if viral use is authorized. Triple lock door entry into the room is limited to the sole person who deactivates a lock with all the passcodes. Accessing this exclusive output terminal located in each section of the senior researchers deactivates the lock. Power room in the room, power in this room, nitro compound is used as a primary fuel source of power. That is so stupid. He always nitroglycerin as fuel. Why, why not? Seems like a good idea. <laughs> Access is limited to headquarters supervisors. This restriction may not apply to consultant researchers with special authorization. Passcode output terminals use and access to the output terminals is limited to authorized senior researchers. Guarding the progress of Tyrant after the administration of T-Virus ineligible after. Hmm. Alright, we just got some stuff we gotta do up here. <coughs> Are the chimeras in this version? The chimeras? Uh, I think those were like from 6, weren't they? Pretty sure nitroglycerin. Yeah, not explosive nitro, though. You don't usually use that, burn that in a reactor to get fuel. A little known to explodey right in your facey. <laughs> right, I don't really need this, so let me take that out. And until I know where to use these, let me take these out. Chimeras are the weird insect monsters, and yet, uh, they're in this game? I don't recall seeing them in this game. I think they show up in... Yeah, I don't think they are. There's not much of the game left. I don't remember insect monsters being in it. Now there's, like... Oh, chimeras. You mean... Okay, you mean, like... Okay, you're you're talking about the spiders. Passed out. Oh, welcome back to the land of living, Lucky. Apparently you needed a good nap. How you feeling? All right. Uh, okay, we get more heals. Bio, the ultimate bioorganic weapon. Special report. MA 39 Cerberus. F103 Neptune. MA121 Hunter. T002 Tyrant. Bioorganic weapon research group development staff. Eight. Three four one seven zero oh, six two three. Bio organic weapon official report. He's getting fatter, Chet, and more corrupt. Okay, this is the same file. 
Oh, now we got a different 8462 is the password. And I don't know where to use that password at, actually. Oh, there's a there's a ladder in here somewhere. Oh no, there isn't. Oh, uh, okay. Somebody go and rescue Darden. He's been bound again. Now that was me doing my like old like yo war general voice, who's like a horribly corrupt individual. Uh, can I not get in there? It's not. Gargling, yeah, like gargling without anything in your mouth to gargle. It's an impressive skill, right? How does he do it, Chad? How does he do it? Uh, okay, I am now a little lost. Someone remember this this code for me, by the way. It is eight four six two. Uh, I haven't come across like a terminal though. Apparently there's still something in there I haven't done yet, though. But what? I didn't see anything left in there. Oh, here it is. 8462. you take the laboratory key? Yes, I would. Some sort of image editing equipment. It looks like you can use it to view Kenneth's film. View the film? We waited the entire game to watch that film. How, wait, did like, Kenneth like have a camcorder? Like this is before the age of like a GoPro. Kenneth was just walking around when he was sent in with like a <laughs> big old. I never thought of that before. Yeah, he was like walking around with like a big handheld camcorder with his VHS tape in it, direct recorded that for some while shooting a gun. No wonder he died. Good name worth shit like that. Also, thank you for the bits, by the way. <laughs> Logical. How would you rank their presentation slides? Those ones I just watched. Old. Terrible. Bad movie. Wonder, I don't think he was part of the experiment to record it. He was like there doing police work. Why didn't Kenneth become a zombie? You know, I, I asked that question myself. He just lays there dead the entire time. The other guy you find the, on the... On the... What was it? The other place? He definitely becomes one. There's still something else in this room. What could there be? See nothing... Oh, map. Thank you, game. Fast love, yeah. I'm going to go over tonight because I'd rather finish this game because I've got so much voice recording to do tomorrow. Uh, I'm not going to feel like streaming after just recording lines all day. Uh, I think, uh, let's see. Probably starting a new recording, though. I've been on this one for a while now. Now, that being said, it is past midnight. There's always a, a stronger possibility my ISP might decide to do some network maintenance and it, everything dies. If that's the case, then we'll finish it tomorrow. Or the next day I'm feeling up to it. I'm gonna talk to myself all day tomorrow. Hey, someone gets to hear this voice all to themselves, and it's me. I don't even know what that means. You know, I, this is what happens past midnight. I turn, I, I just like can't even think straight. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's put this away. Uh, 
shotgun rounds. Nice to have. Right, laboratory key. Probably gonna need an MO desk. Let's take one of those with me. Actually, we'll take one of these and an MO disc with me. You have decks, you have zombie fatigue. Can't wait to hear you tear apart Umbrella for thinking that zombie dogs and sharks would be good bioweapons in the Sins video. Well, there's bigger uh, things to mention than something like that. Uh, plenty of dumb stuff. Those are just one amongst many. They had a fascination though with like, what if we just like turn everything big? It'd be like, you could totally send it to war, somehow. Except, make sure to accept your Discord friend request. Sure, no problem. <clears throat> Actually, let me see if I can do that right now. Uh... Accepted. You are now my friend, my Discord buddy. I don't think the dogs were an accident. They were a Cerberus slide. Uh, yeah, they just like they experiment a little bit on everything, and they just don't really care. They're actually, when you think about it, they were the they were the worst scientists imaginable. Like they just like eh, haphazardly throw shit at anything at the wall and see what sticks. All right, that's the whole uh, place now, is it? Oh, okay. So can't get through the main door. We need to unlock it with more ammo discs. Let's go over this way. A bleeping god, you have a good night, man. Thanks for being here. Hopefully you had some fun. I was gonna push that, but I, have, I hear interesting sounds. Oh, here. Oh, never mind. They are in this game. Th th those are some really bleh, bleh character models, by the way. Hate it. Nope. Those are way worse than the spiders to me. And they have like a, a like a slime volcano when they die. Are you what? No, 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 this is, no, no, okay, I gotta heal on me, I should be good. Oh shit, I'm out, I'm out of ammo, I'm out of ammo, uh oh. Uh, is there any ammo in this room by any chance? It's gonna leave. Rusted shut, it won't budge. Let's just leave. No, oh, he's followed me again. Okay, just fine. You stay there while you like. I'm gonna like use the computer, all right? Be patient. Going late today? Yeah, I want to finish this game. Something. Oh! 
There's not really enough left or laid to do another stream of it. Hey, that's nice, but this doesn't work on these things. They don't grapple you. Come on, give, give, give me some ammo. <laughs> Okay, I, I don't know if I can, like... Okay, this isn't gonna work. I gotta, like, leave and come back. <laughs> Oof. Defense items works on these. Look, uh, like I said, they didn't give me an option to. Uh, usually you gotta be grappled by something for that to work. I think you're fucked. No, I just leave and go get a weapon. Just go get myself my shoddy. We'll deal with this situation. Hey, what's up, Vigilante? How you been tonight? Uh, but I'm good myself. You know, we're finishing this game up tonight. And I you know, got a finished script up, so... Busy couple days for me, though. I'm not gonna lie. Taking a lesson from the... Well, who's Sir Robin, by the way? Gotta wonder why this lab looks like absolutely... You know, I was thinking the same thing earlier. This does not look like a place you were using recently. This looks like something you'd wander into in a Fallout game. Now we're going to take care of this issue. Wait, I need to put the pistol back. Sir Robin ran away. Python. Oh, it's a Monty. Oh, no, it's Monty Python, of course. I'm I'm shamefully a little uh, ignorant of a lot of Monty Python. I really only know the Black Knight sketch. And like one with a dead bird. This parrot is no more. It has ceased to be. Like that one. Umbrella makes places look like ass. I don't know, man. I was in, you know, Resident Evil 5, and they had, like, an underground laboratory there that looked sci-fi as hell. In fact, it was, like, ridiculously, like, science fiction-y. The one where you fight the big scorpion on a big elevator with all the, like, pods. Now, that, that was a bit, uh, a little, little too much. The thumbnail from two days ago has Resident Evil 5 Chris in it, yet there you are. Well, you can play as Resident Evil 5 Chris in this. You can switch to that character model. But it's not like it's untruthful. Alright. Let us go take care of this fucking bug, man. Lab would have been built along. Yeah, that is. But, you know, a laboratory, usually you keep it up because you're doing biological research in there. You wouldn't let it just go to shit like this. You need clean rooms and everything else. And also, if you were like a researcher, like a top tier biologist or virologist, would you want to work in something that looks like a sewer? Like, you would, like, take one look at this place like, I ain't working this shithole. <laughs> you can't pay me enough to work here. What about the dangerous rabbit from the Monty Python? Yeah, that I want to know about as well. But that's from like the, you know, the Holy Knight. But um, it's that one. There's like a guy on like a, on a castle mocking them. Fuck you. Splat. Like, the doors are rusted shut here. You can't even use them.
All right, so I already kind of like did what I think I needed to do in here, which was use that. But there was this over here. That. I've never heard you live. You actually talk like your gaming sins videos. <laughs> that I do. Uh, that ain't me putting on a character voice. That is just that me 100% natural. But I, like I said, I, I always love comments like that. That makes my day. So, uh, thank you for making my, well, night at this point. Like, yeah, he ain't an AI after all. I think I can go up here, right? Okay, I guess I... I'm guessing there's nothing left in this room? Not like 100 years ago, uh, the, the tile ledges are odd. It mm. uh, doesn't actually have much of a smell. A really good natural homeopathic berry that uses like tinctures. Mm. Mm, well, let me crack these knuckles. I don't know about you, Chad, but I love cracking my knuckles. There's just something that's like, oh, that's satisfying. It's like, oh, yeah, more of that. Yeah, so I guess that's all you do in here. Oh, yeah, I just let you come back out and then get into this one. All right, I see how it works. And I pushed it aside. Your mom hates when you... Some people really don't like it. Some people, it like, sets them off. But to me, it's like, I've always loved doing it. <clears throat> you got to remember, during that time, zombies have been wandering around and people were trying to escape before they died too. Yeah, but I don't think it, like, corrode your building apart like this. All right, so, uh... Over here. Hmm. Hmm. Gosh. Uh. It's kind of like uncomfortable that you're just full on naked. Yeah, I need to go get my. I don't want these guys. I'm gonna have to like walk explosives through here later. I don't want them coming back as crimson heads. So I need to go get my flask. What a trap house. Like, why are the zombies naked? What were they doing in here before uh, they, you know, got infected? Curious, how long did it take for you to get used to hearing your own voice on a recording? Because obviously after a while, they just kind of fuse together. Uh, not as long as you think. I, I do remember really, like, I remember the first time I ever heard my voice recorded, I was mortified. Like, my friend recorded, like, my voice on, like, a piece of recording. <laughs> well, thank you for the bits, Illogical. Uh, but, yeah, my friend recorded my voice on, like, like a stereo mic he had for his, like, stereo system. And I remember just being mortified. I was like, is that what I sound like? Oh, God. No wonder no one likes me. <clears throat> so, I do remember. I think that's pretty normal, though. Because you get used to how your voice sounds in your ear, which is not exactly how it sounds. Because it's coming through your, you know, your bones and, like, your own head. Uh, so, but after you hear, like, your recording a couple times, you kind of become used to it. Alright. I needed, I'm probably going to need my flask, and likely, I'm going to need the other MO disc. Where's my other MO disc? There it is. Uh, I have information of the zombies in the lab. You do now, do you? Share it with us. Share it with the class. I don't know why I'm speaking in the Bane voice. That's not a very good Bane voice either. It's really raspy. It just will come out accidentally. You kind of need like a like an assist to speak with a proper Bane voice. You have like a tube in front of your your face. Mm. 
now your voice is one of the most memorable parts about you? Apparently so. That's what I'm told anyways. I'm always trying to make it my jawline though. It's like, what about my jawline? You want to remember that? <laughs> Got a nice chin too. What about my hairline? It's really cool. <laughs> All right, let's kill these naked freaks. Come on over here. I'm going to burn you both at once. That ass. <clears throat> You fuck young boys, Valdez. There's, there's such a bad statement to make. <clears throat> that was a terrible accusation to Mr. Valdez. You dead? Nope. Come on, get a little closer to that body. Almost perfect. <laughs> it looks like just something with it looks like a zombie with two heads and four legs. I've made a new monster category in the game. <clears throat> you could like screenshot this until like dudes, I found a, a rare monster spawn. One in a million chance. You'll never see it again. Only in my playthrough. Hmm. Barbecue. And now that trouble's done with. The Vitruvian zombie. Hmm. Uh, it appears to be the control panel for the elevator. Press the switch. Doesn't seem to be getting any power. Looks like you'll have to operate the switch on the right hand side. Also, it darts dual streaming on YouTube, exactly. <coughs> Got two platforms, and you know, actually, it's been doing very well, by the way, I gotta say. I'm actually kind of surprised that, oh well, you know, I was worried it would like, you know, we kind of peter out, but you no, know, people seem to be interested. <clears throat> Look at me. Have a drink. You're almost done with Elden Ring. Good on you. But then you got the DLC coming up, so you know you're not. <clears throat> I missed the safe room. There's a safe room. Oh, you're right. You've been telling you, well, I, you've been telling me I couldn't legally stream on YouTube for years. Contract, you know, you know, you know, I got a signed contract that kept me from doing it. I'm almost too well stocked at this point. So the first time Dart did it on my phone, there were some issues back then. I'm glad it's working. Yeah, they're like the viewership has been good. The VOD views on the streams have also been really good. My hope is that like as more people watch the VODs, they'll be this they'll like be interested in checking out the stream live and therefore become more normal stream viewers as well. We'll see. What's left of this game? We're in the end of it. There's not too much left, no. I think we have, we have one more MO disc, and I think there's like a nitroglycerin puzzle, and that's it. Then we fight, then we like go confront Wethka. Well, well, we also have to save Jill. 
But that's kind of done at the same time, I think. We love you? Oh, well, thank you. All right, uh, let's see. Okay, uh, this way. Didn't explain crimson heads as age zombies. Uh, no, there's just some kind of weird mutation that happens when the zombies lose consciousness. They, like, mutate. You gotta walk slowly. That's why I'm making sure I hit, like, all the zombies I burn so I don't have to, like, dodge around them. Hmm, which ending am I getting? The save Jill and Rebecca ending. Oh, hate it. It's like a, it's like a, can like ant with a scorpion and a human skull. Did you get all the stuff to save Jill yet? Uh, I forget what you need to get to save her. Actually, right now I'm just I've got one more MO disc to put in, and then. That's all I can do for the time being. Like, I've been pretty thorough in the game, Avil. Uh, warning, fuel may explode if shaken or jarred. Refueling device for the power room. It's not working right now because there's no fuel. There's an empty capsule. A 2002 version, naked zombies don't become crimson heads, but lab code zombies do. That may be why it's just naked zombies prevent crimson... Oh, okay, so I didn't need to burn them even. Oh, well, they they give you, like, yo, know, they still give you the kerosene fuel down here to, like, continue burning them, so I was like, okay, let me just be, you know, be cautious. Responsible, even. Those are really good character models for, like, the GameCube. Those character models still hold up today, I feel. Definitely all the models kind of look... Well, except for, like, the faces, I guess. But the monster ones do really well. Stay down. Glad you guys have like the math works on you guys. Two shotgun rounds takes you down. <laughs> Leaves me feeling good about it. Ow. What really went over your head? Wasted around. I don't like wasting rounds, chat. Waste ammo. Things don't respawn, do they? I'll be very upset if they do. And I gotta come back through here with the explosives, and they're just constantly popping out more. And I just used all this ammo up. I don't think they do. Did I not bring I didn't bring my MO disc. Oh no, I do. I do got it. There, that puzzle's done. You're out. Hey, logical. Have a good night, man. Thanks for being here. I think back here is where you bring the, the explosive fuel.
Uh oh. Uh oh. <clears throat> Bad boy Chris is running out of ammo. Lab self destruct mechanism. It's huge. There's no power to the main elevator. Start it up. Yes. Yeah, Oh, hi, hi, so big. I think Chimeras eventually stop spawning once you've killed enough. I mean, I just butchered many of them. I have to go back and get my sh other shotgun now. Just punch those monsters. This is the man before the punch. He ain't big enough yet. Okay. Could potentially try doing this without one monster remaining in there. Rather than walk all the way back. Uh, let's see. Uh, what was my health as? It's caution, right? Mm, okay, well, it's a red caution. I don't need this. We will... I'll we'll make a green herb mixture. Self defense that self defense gun you should use it. I, I am. I'm saving the Magna Man that for the for that that fight. That's all you ever use the Magna for, anyways, in any Resident Evil game. Like yeah, I'll use it then when it's necessary. I I do. Chad, do you would you trust someone if they actually used up the Magnum once they got it on regular enemies before they got to like the final boss in a Resident Evil game? I I don't know how I'd feel about that if I saw someone do that. I'd be really off-put by it. Like, you did what? Uh, let's see. Where was that room with the, the, the fuel tank filler again? Uh, let's see. I think it might have been up here, right? No, this is not it. Shit, where was that? Only excuse is first time blind the rip play. There, even when I played a Resident Evil game for the first time, or like I think it's Resident Evil 2. Well, Resident Evil 1, but I only really ever beat Resident Evil 2. I don't believe I used the Magnum, I just held onto it because I knew it was like, oh Magnum. That's like big gun. Maybe it was, I guess it was this room, the one in the center. Okay, I definitely need to say before I, you know, start handling the explosives, by the way. Just realize what I'm about to do. And I'm being foolish. Plus, I get five more, so yeah, we're good. Did you use all three of the MO discs yet? Yep. Already did that. Now I'm getting the fuel uh, from the nitro. We're about to. 
And then I'll go through the big doors. To like the finale. I just have to remember where the freaking filling station was. When you first played, you did. You used up the magnum. Oof. When did you realize the error of your mistake? It's like when the boss was just killing you left and right? Then again, it's most of the Resident Evil bosses aren't really that hard. Uh, okay, let me check over here first before I try that, that freaking labyrinth room. Like one of these was the x-ray room and the other one was something else. Yeah, here it is. All right. Let's fill her up. You got the fuel supply capsule. The main ingredient of this fuel appears to be nitro compound. Running could result in a fatal explosion. Maybe just use the electricity in your freaking building then. <laughs> like you're already powered. Why do you need this special piece of fuel to power an elevator? No, no, the, the elevator needs special fuel. You don't understand. Run and test it. Well, I did. I think I did that when I played through with Jill. So I already know they're 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 being very serious about this. You think possibly opening a door might cause it to explode as well. Who do you think had this job regularly to take the fuel capsule? to this freaking station and like imagine that's your job at this place like oh yeah i gotta like risk i got a 50 50 chance of dying every day <laughs> don't forget you can pull those levers now that you use yeah i know i want to do this first get this over and done with I think shooting will also set it off, right? I don't know. I think being attacked, too, can make it go boom. I've given myself the you know, element of danger by leaving one enemy alive in this place. Apparently it's not here. Oh. Where do I where do I stick this at? I thought I found a port for it earlier. You don't know what you're trying to do, bug. This is the room where the power thing goes, right? Hey, shit. Go back. I... I oh, move bug. Is it over here? No, I just did a circle. I don't think it's in this room, is it? 
I'm in the wrong room. It was in the other room. Uh oh, bug! No, no, no! Let go! You don't know what you've done. You've killed my. You've killed us all. <laughs> oh, he's dead himself now. Must return the cylinder. Oh, that makes sense. That was in this room, right? Or the other room. Yeah, this is where I hid the did the ammo disc. Well, I just proved my ability shot. I went further than I needed to with a stupid bomb in my pocket. Here we go. Well, there you go. Now we can go activate the power. I don't think we activate the self-destruct yet, do we? That would be bad. I don't think we want to do that. Just want to activate the elevator power. Actually, I don't think we are the ones who activate the self destruct, are we? Who uses chain link fencing inside? Good question, actually. Why is that even there? That's a very satisfying computer boop. Yeah, we, we, we the self-destruct is for another man to activate. All right, so we can use the elevator and now we can go through that big door that we use the MO disc for. Let's go do that. The big MO disc. I think the MO disc door is where you save Jill, right? So let's go rescue our, our, our partner. Alright, almost done. One last thing. Eyes are blurry, can't type. Don't worry, we're almost done. Then then you will be free. come so far you and me chat but look we've gotten to know each other personally <laughs> theory on how jill got captured is that when chris left to investigate the dining room wesker immediately grabbed her and dragged her to the cell yeah that would be that would what makes sense but however the, the problem is is both jill and chris's playthrough uh throughout the mansion is canon even though it can't possibly be because one of them has to be locked up uh but both of them are considered canon This way, and we're good. Uh, 
Because all like both Rebecca and Barry canonically survive this as well. And those two would only survive if you have like you know both campaigns being canon. And both of their adventures get mentioned as well. Levers for releasing the door locks. Looks usable. Hmm. Anyone else read the Resident Evil novels? They did a good job of hand waving away all the puzzles and explaining all the characters having their own image. Yeah, but are they canon though? No, is it canon, bro? I mean, I, I I usually don't read video game novelizations, but eh, I guess it's a way of getting more of the world and maybe from a different kind of viewpoint that you don't get in a video game. I know. Wait, how do you know? I can't open it. Just wait, I'll be back. Okay. I forget how you wait. Do I what I guess I gotta do something else to open it? Uh Silent Hill 2 is one is great. Well, based off a good story like that, you could make a pretty good novel. Locked. Locked. I guess there's like a something else I gotta do down once I go through the elevator. The slideshow? Oh, yeah, I did have Wesker there. Come back later. Oh, yeah, I think as it, once the self destruct has been activated, you come back. However, he should also be thinking Wesker's dead after seeing him get yeeted off the yule into the abyss by Lisa. Go to bed? I'm almost done. Why would I go to bed now? I want to finish because tomorrow I'm not streaming. I'll be recording lines all day. Someone's going to do it. All right. Uh, I think that's like the... You know, basement floor. Yeah, that's like the that's like Wesker's lab right there, isn't it? So I should probably like go ahead and like get my magnum out. <laughs> don't think you fight it until you get outside, but you know, might as well don't have to like make multiple stops. What size do you need to say that louder? What do I need it to my magnum? Get my magnum out. And also my tiny magnum. <laughs> my baby magnum. I promise to use that after all. Yeah, I do need to, I want to like use up one more save though. Shelf. Yeah, we gotta make sure we use that. All right, I think we're ready. In fact, I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna like equip the baby magnum. So tiny, isn't it, Chris? Tiny gun. Boop. <laughs> All right, whatever. Wait, where's Rebecca at? Isn't shouldn't she, I thought she was supposed to be in like the cell as well? Or like I guess she finds her own way down here. Uh, Chris, I found my way down here. Oh, thank God. Chris. Oh, there, oh, there she is. Rebecca. I saw you in the in her garden. I finally caught up. Wait, what? That was a while ago. 
worth following. Just stay with me, kid. That's my plan, sir. That would have been good advice earlier. Imagine that as Chadley. Oh, Chris! You're in Umbrella's secret research facility. Why, this would be a great place to start looking for new materia or information we can gather on the region. I've heard there's like some exciting medicinal herbs in this area that might be able to, we may be able to use to fashion potions for yourself to use in battle. I look forward to researching this wonderful new area with you, Chris. I am going to need a Chadley emote, aren't I? It's, it's like inevitable at this point that I need a Chadley emote. Thank you for the bits, by the way. Wesker. So you've come. Chris, you make me proud. But of course, you are one of my men. My best man. Thanks. Why didn't we have our guns drawn on him? I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. Since when have they been slipping you a paycheck? I think you're a bit confused. I've always been with Umbrella. And stars were Umbrella's. No, rather, my little piggies. The tyrant virus leaked, polluting this whole place. And unfortunately, I had to give up my lovely members of stars. You killed them with your own dirty hands! You son of a bitch! No. Oh yes, dear. Just like this. Becca! Don't move! You... I don't think you want to die just yet. I have something that's of some interest to you. First, I will show you my evil creation before I kill you, Chris. <laughs> show me its cock. Come on, show it. <laughs> she dead. She's fine. No, no, the ultimate bar whopper. I mean, <clears throat> the ultimate bar whopper. <laughs> I've spoken to my can. I'm stupid. Chris, you'll never understand. It's magnificent. He survives this, by the way. So up. <laughs> we'll play some basketball. Tiny gun, go. Well, we used it. Like I said, I would. Oof, oof. Yeah, I noticed all my bullets hit him in the dick. <laughs> Rebecca. Hey, where'd that bullet go? Chris. It's a good thing you were wearing your bulletproof vest. <laughs> There's nothing left for us to do here. Let's get moving. Okay. What an awkward line. How come that bulletproof vest didn't save that other guy from being shot to death by Wesker? What a pathetic way to die. 
He's holding something. Observation note. The discovery of the G virus was in fact 21 years after the administration of the primogenitor virus. The prototype parasite which we had delivered from a laboratory in France was administered to the sample. Was the... Was, tell, remind me if I'm wrong, but wasn't uh, Rebecca... I'm not Rebecca, but Claire at the opening of... Uh, yeah, wasn't she like invading a laboratory in France at the opening of, a, you know, her game? Uh, I think she was, where she gets captured and sent to the island. Yeah, so I guess that's a little tie-in. But this was this game came out before that, right? Yeah, Code Veronica. Uh, it was administered to the sample specimen. The sample specimen took in the parasite without showing any signs of adverse reaction. Lack of any reaction. I've always wondered what this parasite was that they used as well. Uh, lack of any reaction was an unsolved mystery, but now everything is clear to me now. The prototype parasite was incubating in the sample specimen's body for 21 years. Then, from that incubating stage, the prototype suddenly mutated. Evolved may be a more appropriate word to describe it. Uh, the parasite was nemesis. Yeah, but, like, why isn't that used more often than, say, like, you know, the plaga? This observation gave me more insight into my research. Through further modification and testing, I was able to drive a method of creating the G that surpasses the performance of the T. This was the breakthrough that would change the future of the B.O.W.'s history. Can't wait to see the look on Alexia's annoying face when I finally announce my research. But unfortunately, I'll have to wait a few more years to completely verify him. Alexia! My darling sister! I'll get you next, Claire Redfield. <laughs> I'll keep you away from my darling sister, Alexia. <laughs> God, I hate that guy so much. Panel used to release the emergency electronic lock. Release the lock. I guess that freed up Jill. Surprised there was no, like, ammo they give you for fighting that thing if you came in here without nothing. Alright. We've got everything. Definitely need a Resident Evil Code Veronica Sins video. I did a Code Veronica Sins video, but I don't think I did that voice, and I'm not making another one. Yeah, I've already seen Code Veronica. Alright, let's go free Jill. Do it again and make your night. Mm, Rebecca! Now, now I can't do it because I got asked to do it. Has to be spontaneous. Chris? What is it? I found a file in the lab. Apparently, there's still a lot of tyrant virus here. We should blow this whole place up. Right. The show must go on. I'll leave that up to you, Rebecca. I'm on it. I'll start the self-destruct system I found a little while ago. It's not like we're out of this yet. I thought you like I'll ran and found me immediately. You're out of Inside. breath. Yeah, let's destroy the evidence. Alright, I shall go get children. Yeah, let's do a save. Last save of the game, even. Love slapping your shoulders. It's a, it's a camaraderie thing. Josie cares. Right, we also gotta put the baby gun away. It served its purpose. I like that I came down to just one excess ink ribbon. Uh, 
let's see. Uh, probably should heal. I actually am full. It did hit me once, so whatever. And I will take my remaining shotgun rounds with me. Nothing else. Mm, just some like more heals. Three should be enough, anyways. I think I got more than enough magnum ammo to deal with it anyways. Line, yeah, the lines in this game are really awkward. And we could have like waited another minute or two. She had no idea how quick this thing might explode. My, that voice is so creepy. Well, I, I think it's actually just like really annoying. Because <laughs> it was in the game, that's for sure. I don't know why I'm good at doing that voice. I hate it. I, I still to this day don't understand how that guy got a speech like speech pattern like that. Lock is released. Why didn't she open the door herself then? Jill, sorry I made you wait. I knew you'd come. Let's get out of here. Do that voice. Uh, that voice is hard to maintain for more than a few minutes. Uh, I don't think we go back. We yeah, we don't go back to the elevator. We go out the the other way. Yeah, I never played as Chris. I only ever beat this game as Jill. I think we go up. Uh, yeah, up this way. Yeah, that was the rescue Jill achievement. Pretty one asking. Actually, we will get to use our final save ribbon. Perfect. I, I like that. It's very neat and tidy. Where'd you go? What is this title? It's whatever you need it to be. It's meant to be like bring get your attention and make you ask that very question by coming into the stream. So it worked. But it one part it's one part reference to Resident Evil, one part reference to Gooning. All right, let us go. Oh shit, I could probably talk to them there. Oh. Well, they don't have room for that. I'm pretty well stocked up anyways. You know, Brad should have been like trying to contact us way more often. And like only once every once every once in a blue moon. What the fuck is this? 
You can't carry in. What is this? What am I, supposed to, I can't pick it up. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> Fine. Will you take the fuse unit? I guess I need it. <laughs> Like, what was the point of making me pick up this item to put it right there in the thing it came from? Three minutes to detonation. The self-destruct system's activated. Good work. Brad's up in the helicopter. Those things are coming. I'll take care of them. But Chris, you just get in contact with Brad. Hey, where'd you get your gun back okay. when you were locked up? I, why are you two, like, going... Why, why don't you just get in the elevator and come up with me? You don't need to, like, hold anything off. They can't, like... That makes no sense. Like, you can just all come up with me. That Okay, never mind. Go be a hero somewhere else. You take the signal rocket? Here we go, chat. Banala time. Chris! You okay? Yeah. Okay, that took her head off, or at least should have. Fast. Ooh. You know, this is actually a flamethrower, not a rocket launcher. Shit, camera. Stop fucking with me. Let her go. Where'd he go? Where's the fucking rocket? There it is. Oh, the camera. Now you get your uh, rocket launcher. Nope, flame door. Hey. I didn't know we could like dot make like knock one of them away. Is that normal? He I don't think I've ever seen him do that before. Forest fire. Oh, uh, look at them hinting at a possible romance that never happened. Fly off into the sunset cliche? Why not?
And there we are. Oh, hope these aren't Chris's credits. Intimidating Tar Dargan's voice right off into the sunset. Well, that's how every Resident Evil game ten typically ends. Whew. Love Resident Evil games, but I do not love their stories. Well, their stories are kind of meant to be B, like B plots. But, you know, the gameplay usually makes up for it. That being said, there are once stories I have that I enjoy. Off you have a good night, by the way. You done did it. I done did it. Well, we've now done both campaigns of this. And I can uh, <clears throat> potentially then make a video on it now. Finally cap off my Resident Evil series until the next new one. It's going to feel weird, chat. It's like it's been like a part of the channel for so long. Like there's always been another Resident Evil I could pull off. Now it's like the wait for the new ones, like, you know. You're still up? Well, I wanted to finish this tonight. Also, uh, Chef Brekia, $10 Super Chat. Resident Evil's boom rendering technology is five years... <laughs> boob rendering, I guess you meant. Five years behind Metro Last Light. Uh, I think there was, like, just an image of boobs in this game on a book binder. But, uh, definitely more than a few years than... <laughs> or more than five. Uh, hey. But hey. You don't, you don't get video game boobs that much anymore. You do a video for it, can we expect uh, the Alfred laugh? Why would I do that in a video for this game? No, only you people who were like here for the live stream got that, alright? That was for you. There are certain jokes, chat, that I don't do in videos that I will do in a live stream, and that's, that's the benefit of being part of the live streams. You get to see me unfiltered at my most hilarious... Oh, well, thank you, Wesker. <laughs> thank you very much. He's such a good boss, Chad. He's such a good boss. Yeah, I think 30 ink ribbons is like almost like... I think that might be the max ink ribbons you get. And I decided to use every one of them. Now play with features from the prototype version. Real survival mode. Item boxes are no longer connected, meaning that items can only be taken from the box where they were stored. Also, weapon aiming is manual. Experience these prototype only features available in the original Resident Evil gameplay. Make the game shittier! You got a closet key. New costume has been unlocked. You can change in the dressing room. Well, there we are. And the winner is you. This guy, our win. Resident Evil complete. Leaderboard? What the fuck? Holy God, 99 hours? That can't be real. Tadayoshi, the, these, who was out there playing this game for that, this many hours? The maxing out the clock. All of Vietnam, apparently. There are people out there, chat, who really like this game. Really, really like this game. <laughs> Itata Yoshi is also like the top leaderboard in a uh, real survival mode. What about Invisible Enemy? Tata Yo okay, Tata Yoshi, you legend. You just wanted like all the bragging rights, didn't you? <laughs> like I will be in the top of this leaderboard for this game. For all modes. I salute Tadayoshi. I salute. What's my rank? I am 249,701th rank, chat. That's on Jill's. What about Chris's? That's on, yeah, that's on easy. I played as Chris. A normal. Actually, didn't, but uh, okay, whatever. <laughs> okay. At least I'm not at the very bottom. Are you going to play that Alex Jones game? No. Why would I? Alright. So. God, I am way over stream time. It is like 1.24am. Uh, but it needed to be done. Because I didn't have enough time to make another full stream out of this. But we are finished with Resident Evil. Until a new Resident Evil game comes out. How about that? 
I will also not be streaming the next couple days. Tomorrow I am recording a ton of freaking lines. And then I got several days of just hardcore video editing ahead of me. So I'm not sure how many days I'll be away from streaming. Probably at least three, maybe four before I stream again, I'm, I'm going to assume. So hey, don't forget about me. <laughs> don't forget about your old pal Dardigan. He be, you, he be waiting for you if you be waiting for him. Uh, however, you've all been amazing. Uh, thank you for joining my playthrough of Resident Evil. Uh, it's a pleasure having all of you. Thank you for any gift subs, memberships, regular memberships and gift subs, super chats, bits, all of that. Uh, wonderful things that involve money. <laughs> Hopefully you feel like you're getting your money's worth out of it. Uh, thank you to the mod team. And uh, yeah, just thank you for spending your time with me these past several nights. I will be back probably with Silent Hill 3. So we're going to be going right into another classic horror game uh, when I come back to streaming in a few days. So be ready for that. That should be really good. Big change in pace between the two. Or tone, I should say. Between the two. Alright, but that's all I got. I'm going to like get something to drink, rest my throat for a bit, because I'm going to use it a lot tomorrow. Uh, that did not intentionally sound as dirty as it was meant to, but you know what? Have at it. <laughs> Have at it. It's the gooning stream, after all. All right, happy uh, whatever, you know, post-eclipse uh, day this is, and I'll see you all in a few days, chat. Peace out, everybody.